No way, we can totally do this in about 40 minutes. Let's go! <laughs> I, I could probably do Street Fighter in one minute. Lad no beats Doom. Lad no beats Doom. That's oh. the entire year of Irish Street Fighter right there. <laughs> yeah. In terms in terms of uh, Doom's life, that's that's his life condensed into... Well, that was actually more like 20 seconds. Damn. That, it, it happens every tournament. It, it's I, I don't know how <clears> many <throat> SF finals came down to Lad no v Doom this year. Well, it must be in the region of 10. <laughs> Not to jump ahead, but I do remember at Erdogan I was sitting behind you and that was exactly what was happening and I could almost feel the sadness emanating from you <laughs> to me who's sitting behind you just going, oh, come on, dude, come on. I'll, 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 no, I won't go on, the, on about that because people are <laughs> talking about Erdogan at length later, but yeah, okay. It's a happy day, you got to watch Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But again, let's talk about that when we get to Erdogan. Yeah, Because exactly. I could talk about Erdogan for 45 minutes on its own. I'm sure you could, too. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to say <laughs> yes, you could. Um, Maybe not specifically about Marvel, but Erdogan in general. Yeah, of exactly. Course. So, kicking off podcast number two, to recap of the year, we're going to start from January and go all the way down to December. Because so, as we all know, the year starts with January, so not sure yes, should be the first one. The recap will, yeah, but sometimes communities start late. Sometimes. <laughs> so, but oddly this year, 2013 for randomselect.ie, we started very early, starting from January, Day of Champions 8, January 5th, so five days into the new year, we had our first tournament. Ooh. Yeah, very, very early event. Um, details of the tournament were kind of scarce, actually, on the boards itself. From what I remember, though, um, mm -hmm. would you recap if... the... Do you remember much of the first tournament, Doom, in January? I... I actually I remember significant amounts about the Street Fighter side of this one. Um, Rugal was back in Ireland. You know fake Rugal? No. No, he's he's a boxer player. Um, he would have been one of the best players in the North. He's dead sound, and he uh, emigrated. We didn't em well, maybe he did emigrate. I think he was originally from China. Yeah. He's over there living now. Um, he's one of the Belfast lads, Belfast crew. He ran a lot of their tournaments, and I think it was his loss that actually um, pretty much. Final, finally killed the the Belfast scene because no one else seems to have taken up running tournaments after him. But um, yeah, he was back. Um, there was this was that was the tournament that that guy was over from France, um, Old Dreddy, El Dreddy, <laughs> yes, Rufus player. And uh, I think the final was uh, me versus Ladno. Yeah. Funnily enough, <laughs> that that was, was a twist. Hmm? Was yeah, a it's twist. a horrible pun. Yeah, and. Um, Oh, this was also the tournament. I I don't just notice. I happen to look into my videos. Um, this was the tournament that uh, that you Lee made that interesting video about onion. Huh? I did. Do you remember that the one where you're like where he, you you used last year's year in review video, and you oh. made a little kind of uh, a little promo vid. Was it, yeah the pro promo vid of um, oh you mean whenever you done the taunt? Yes. Yes, the taunt. And then there's yeah, and then Nutrient took front front stage with his yeah very in, in the end, reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was in, the best. in the, the end, man. neither of you made top three in this particular tournament. Funnily wow. enough, it was Rara and Nutrient and someone else. Oh yeah, that's when I done yeah. my Hagger three six oh I was godlike, I remember that. Oh was yeah. <laughs> it, was actually, <laughs> it was a really fun because the room in the Clarence is so cool. It, it's really it makes for fun tournaments. I think it's because people are there's room, but it's still kind of small, so we're all near each other. So. You're kind of forced to watch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, people that's not make handmade man. signs and everything, and it was one of the first tournaments where I had a webcam. So <laughs> there is there is people like with handmade signs calling people frauds and everything, and nutrients reaction and all that that happened. <laughs> that wasn't exaggerated at all. That was legitimate, 100 percent. Yes. Ah, it was a video nutrient. How do you exaggerate it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It only, caught, it only caught the truth. It was amazing. It was, it was fine. <laughs> it, this, was, uh, this was also a tournament where, right, in the thread, you can go look it up. I go on a bit of a mad rant because there was a Tekken tournament in the middle of the day and it was the only tournament that was on PS3, right? So, yes. Um, this is before. I had stripper, but just, you know, recording things was very different a year year ago till it was now. I had to basically had to take apart the recording setup I was using, and put together a new one on the spot for the PS3, and then we got Tekken going, and then none of the Tekken lads would do commentary. I and was I, 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 I kind of lost my head then. In, I remember in, that you were actually quite flustered. Or, sorry, is that the word? Maybe infuriated. 
Oh well, yeah, I mean, like I, I put in to get out to work. I put in serious effort, and it was like, lads, the least you could do, the least you could do, is do a bit of commentary. To be fair, the next tournament after that, there was like a line of Tekken people waiting to do their commentary. So. <laughs> I wonder why <laughs> they didn't take well, it I'll the right way. So. I'm surprised well, that they weren't more excited to do commentary. Everyone else in every other game always wants to do commentary. Always. Yeah, it's 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 a weird thing. Um, I think maybe it's the other games people are now used to commentary and what it entails and blah, blah, blah. Whereas it might have been a lot of people who were there for tech and just to play. Yeah, they were just there to pay. They didn't know what the story is with attending a tournament and... You know, some people just don't like doing commentary. Like, we're never going to get Fergus on commentary for every match, you know? Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, every game's That's... got that. You're right, though. Like, Ben from Marvel, L- uh, Lar for MK, well, they'd never do it. Well, mm. Ben, you could get Ben to do it, but uh, one guy in MK, he'll never it. commentate. And he'd probably be the most entertaining person to do it. Mm-hmm. So you feel ben like it's a lot of Huh? As far as I know. Ben's happy enough to commentate for Marvel, as far as I know. Eh, yeah. You just you have to offer him the mic, but he, he will sit yeah. down and he'll, he'll commentate. Yeah, yeah, other so there are people who are like, let me commentate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's always that's Marvel notes. in a nutshell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I'd done pretty good in my match, and uh, well, I could have done a lot better, but I had a lot of fun, and it's like uh, back to the match. I never yeah, liked that. there's stuff going on here. <laughs> <laughs> no, every time I get in the boot, it's just because I lost. I have nowhere else to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll sit here and vent for a bit, guys. Let's be honest, though. I mean, come on, Tekken. Well done, yeah, he, he, he punched him. Um, not so sure where to go from here. Is this, is this happening? <laughs> That's the thing, like, if any of us get stuck commentating on another 2D match, you can go like, ooh, that looked like a sick mix-up. Ooh, did you see that reset when you're yeah, watching Tekken? Yeah. yeah, you can always ask questions about the game, because I'll just throw it out here, I have nothing against Tekken, I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I really don't either, cause, and, and what happened at this particular tournament is there was three or four Street Fighter guys, and the street, I said to Street Fighter guys, look, I know you don't know anything about this, but I'm really stuck. They won't do anything. <laughs> oh, man. Right? So it ended up with Street Fighter commentary, and then we had people going, oh, my God, these commentators, these commentators are so uh. terrible, in the comments on YouTube. And you know what I'm like when, when people insult people on YouTube? I generally take them to task in a kind of a, well, these are my boys, so don't yeah. be insulting them way. You know, like yeah. they, they were doing me a favor. You pick so, up the white shiny armor and you don't, you stride out. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to go to war, you know. But, but it led to a situation where, where, you know, the Tekken people were like, the commentary was terrible. And I was like, it's your fault. The commentary is terrible. Who do you think <laughs> does the commentary? It's you. <laughs> you did this. You did this. Yeah. I was are watching Star Any of the Tekken players, are they own owners or anyone that's from the past scene? Or are they all new? Who are the Tekken scene? Well, well, there's one you might have heard of called Fergus. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really play Tekken. Um, oh my God. <laughs> he's Any time I've ever talked to Fergus in a point where he's not in the middle of a tournament match, he's probably playing Tekken. That's true. Uh, there's Kuratao. Kuratao is, is is mainly a Tekken player, despite everyone thinking he's a Mortal Kombat player. Yeah, he's quite new, though. Yeah. You're talking about proper old school. Yeah, like... I'm like thinking about, well, I'm looking at the Tekken scene, and I remember hearing a while back that there was a Tekken scene engraved into the scene, but they kind of preferred to play in their own locale, like a house, or to have their own events. But the people, yeah. it's kind of a blend now, a mix of new and old, it seems. Yeah. But I don't see any, I don't know. You see, I don't, I don't want to be insulting, but like I've seen so many players for so many games that I don't play that the original gang of Tekken players that I met have all kind of blurred into disappeared yeah um the only one was uh, the witch the witch was a Tekken player is a Tekken player oh yeah so and he's he's older he's older schooler than I am so what? true OG yeah true OG you know what? Like, oh really yeah well he, he was playing Soul Cal in part of an Irish scene before I was playing Street Fighter in the part it of the Irish scene does not look at it at all yeah he, oh. he's been around a long time playing Jesus. FG's so, like, I mean, he would probably be the original OG of the Irish second scene. So. Whoa. I don't like using that term. <laughs> OG. Yeah, well, it's a lack of a better term, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. Anything else about uh, the Clarence Day of Champions yet, tournament? Oh, well, MK was there as well, but we actually kind of... <laughs> the tournament ended at, like, 7 o'clock for Doom and the rest, but MK stayed to play their own tournaments. It was a bit of a oh, weird yeah. experience. They, like, oh. they stole a corner of the Clarence and decided, we're going to finish this. 
And yeah. we all, everything got packed up. It was literally an empty room, except one corner divided with five players, two chairs, and hype that contested the whole tournament itself, encapsulated into one game. They were hyped oh, yeah. for that. I remember seeing that the crowd was going corner like crazy in the corner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and I was sitting in the in literally the opposite corner, you know, where all uh, the recording setup was as I was breaking it down going, Wish I was recording that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a game that's about disemboweling everyone else's entrails, they're a very happy, friendly bunch of people. Oh yeah. Oh, they're the boys. I used to like whenever I used to be setting up, if I had my own speakers with me, you know, usually I play the guile theme just for myself. But yes. if there's a Mortal Kombat tournament on, I always put on the Mortal Kombat theme. Just because I like seeing them all go, Mortal yeah. Kombat! <laughs> to each other. Yeah, yeah Steve's probably always... like the most reactive to anything MK related. Oh, he starts dancing and stuff. It's awesome. One man, three legs. I almost feel I almost feel sorry for them that uh, that um, Injustice has divided their community in two. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's really dramatic, you're right. Uh, it's completely yeah. divided down the middle. A lot of the northern players, Razor, uh, Spud, who's Death Rider uh, from the north, they don't want to play Injustice. They don't like it. So disembowelment was what was keeping them around. Considering the oh. balances of Injustice compared to MK, MK was a two-player game. Mm -hmm. Like literally, you could pick Cyrox or Cabal. A two-character game, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, compared to this. But I think that's pretty much um, all of January, wasn't it? Just the one event. Ladno, uh, yourself, or all the eight guys. Typical tournament of the year, wasn't it? Nothing stood out, really? Uh, no, no, nothing strange or unusual there, all right. Just a different that, venue. Uh, yeah, the, and the venue is cool, and I, I'd like to go back there sometime. Just Okay. I think yeah. we can consider January week captains, though. It's yeah. too warm. I'm going to bring a fan, and we have to go there again. Yeah. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for the recap of 2013, we'll move on to February, which had, again, one tournament, which was in the same venue, wrote to Cannes on the 9th of February. Which was a pre set up for getting people to Cannes. WGC mm, yes. for March, I believe, was. Mm. So, we had seat points for Cannes off this. Yes. So so it was serious business. And that was negotiated <laughs> with Kermit Tengu, right? Mm. Um, yeah. So how did that event pan out? Again, results <laughs> I couldn't find them on boards. I'm sure they're definitely there. But uh, I I I'm just guessing now. But I think I think the final was me versus Ladno. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> who won, Brian? Brian, who won out of you and Ladno? Brian won, obviously. Well, first I off, think... tell us who came second first. Because I, I think, think we'll this... I think this might have been the final that took like half an hour because he kept fecking around with... Uh... He kept picking other characters and I just bodied all the other characters until he went Cody and then bodied me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Were you doing a Cody impression? That sounded exactly <laughs> like him. It was. I was just bashing oh. how bad as they were. You know? <laughs> no, Brad, I was just trying to say if you were okay, you just heard that because you've got mental. Okay. <laughs> but um, I do know the rules are similar to a DLC. Uh, ter first term of start at 1 o'clock being Marvel. And throughout the day, we had Blaz Blue and Melee and Injustice, along with AE and Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, Me Melee only started from this year, wasn't it? What happened? When did Melee just, uh, just start coming back all of a sudden? What was that? I was think right. her dead idea of stomping his foot down is like no more. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna start happening. So he kind of threw himself out in a limb to uh, ensure that melee was out in every tournament in some way or form, and then people from the north would come down, and it actually got quite a lot of numbers. So, yeah. oh, that was right. Yeah, there was a couple of tournaments where we actually had like, proper big figures for for melee. What? Well, well, that wasn't uh, at the uh, Road to Council, was it? Uh, I don't like, think so. I don't recall there being a. No, that was later yeah. on. That was later on in the year after we mm. came back. The one uh, thing I noticed about the event was um, we did get UK players coming over for this. I think one was Systematic, who was, I think <gasps> he was from Manchester. I think could be wrong, but he jumped across the pond to come to one of our tournaments. That doesn't happen very often unless it's in a, one of our annual events. What for Road to Cans or was that the uh, Road to Cans? Yeah. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, was Systematic at it. Yeah, he was at it. Okay. I don't recall him, but um, that, please don't take that as an insult. Systematic, I know he's systematic. coming over to this year's. Yeah, so, he's coming this year. Yeah, so Man, I'll Tom's shake cool. his hand. He's, he's awesome. Mm -hmm. He can't he, play Marvel though. <laughs> he he plays a very annoying Balrog in Street Fighter. Though, as far so. as I know, he plays Street Fighter really fucking well. So that's what he's going to be practicing. And yeah, yeah, no, he's come over and practice, and I'm like, play, practice Marvel. It's like, <laughs> no. Yeah, but Rotacam was really just. Um, 
more of a practice event really for our all the Irish team because we always try to get better when we go to Can each year and try level up and up to when we get there I think we everyone done much better than we anticipated we much certainly better. did much better than we did the year before let's put it that way <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the, man, the amount of like almost I got like I almost beat Dominion. I almost beat oh, Mago. Oh yes, but that's the completely. You weren't there for <laughs> yeah. Italian sim. Oh. <laughs> I heard about this, but I do. I still don't know the full Hearing story. Hearing it does not fulfill what happened. You have to but, see. But basically, <laughs> will, I, will I tell the story? Go ahead. It's All right. Basically, we got the Italians in the first round of the World Cup last year. Okay. Right, and we had like we had Jun. And we had Ladno, and John was playing Akuma, and the first up was a sim. And the idea was that, like, of the five players we had, me, John, and Ladno were the stronger ones, with no insult meant to the other players in the team. So the idea was that I'd go out first, and I'd hopefully take out one or two of them, because they'd put out their scrubbier players first. And then we'd have all our killer players with good setups and stuff as anchors. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Right. What happened was we won the toss, so we knew who they were declaring first, and they went sim, and I went, lads, can't beat a sim, send out someone else, because Guile um, in AE just doesn't beat sim. It's, a, okay. it's, one of the, it's one of those really, really hard matchups, you know? Gotcha. So I said, can't do this, send someone else out. So Jun goes out first, and Jun was playing Akuma, and Jun played one of the worst matches that I've ever seen him play, and he got body. <sighs> Right. And then the sim marched through everyone else, got up to Ladno. I think Ladno took a round and was there like, oh, thank God, Ladno's going to win. And then he choked as well. Oops. Yeah, which left me and oh, it just didn't end well. So basically we got body for free on our one appearance on the stream last year. Yay. Oh, you had Aileen on the team, wasn't it? The team was completely out of whack as well. Yeah, like it wasn't a, it wasn't a proper full team and it just oh. didn't go well. Um, what like I was actually feeling really, really bad on the day, because like you know no one wants that to happen. And to be fair, Chunkus cheered me up. I give Chunkus a very hard time a lot, but Chunkus was there and he, he he was like, ah, you know, it's all right. Happens at all. Happens to all of us. The thing is, when when you get beaten down badly like that, and I was properly beaten down, he said, oh. you get beaten down badly like that. The thing is, is is it's how you pick yourself back up and how you react to it. Like, do you go? This game sucks. Do you give up, or or do you decide I'm never going to a tournament again, or do you decide, well, you know, I'm just going to get better, <laughs> and hopefully the next time I get in a fight like this, it won't be so embarrassing. So I I tried to to apply that, and actually I think I have gotten better at a in the last year. Like I do setups and things now. <laughs> oh so, wow! I know. <laughs> that sounds really complicated. I just press book. Ah, no, it's press buttons. So that was uh, pretty much a rushed cap um, of a World Game Cup 2013 in Cannes. So that's how that went last oh, year. That's 2012 I was talking about. Yeah, so coming up to March. One topic does take precedence over Cannes for, um, on a more personal level for Ireland. This was a, a goodbye and thanks for all the dive kicks, uh, Misty's departure to Aussie land. Yes. So Misty Chaos left. For how long? I don't know, still. He's still, still over still there. there. Still there. Um, they still have him hostage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You have to send I, over the 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 evac. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah I think there's only so long they can keep him before the Irish government's able to claim <laughs> that uh that's an act of war. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get on. But he's missed. Missed his armistice, you know. <laughs> ah, he's missed absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he did the best vlogs. His comic timing in them is unreal. <laughs> I remember some of them. Yeah, he recorded a train ride from the bed of himself waking up to the train ride to getting to Dublin to the event, going back on the ride to the house. He done all of it. It was done well. <laughs> that was the, the one you're talking about. He had this horrible, horrible train ride up to Dublin and he was late to the event. But he just cuts to the moment when he finds out what group he's in. I think he had Blag, Cobblecog, and Azza in his <laughs> group. I just. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it's just—it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> He's such a reactive player. Like when he—he he doesn't a ultra. He'll perform it in front of you when he hits it on you. Yeah, oh, that's the yeah. worst. He don't even. He does the juice box like. Yeah, 
And then the patented phrase, You have been you mystified! Have been mystified. And yeah. Oh, Jesus. You're left contemplating your life, your dress up, and everything. It's a pretty, pretty miserable experience. But um, hopefully you come back again, Misty. We can <laughs> have another pint again. Hopefully yeah, less well, recording, but, you know, more enjoyment. Yeah. I know he, uh, he, he keeps an eye on the forum, so he'll probably hear this. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, yeah, come back. We need another Misty, or we need another jury player, I think. It's not mm. fun performing the actual special moves in real life while it happens in the game. No, no, so, only one individual can perform please, that. Please, please come back and do that. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, you do do that, Vi. But yours is easy. Point your finger. That, that, was, that was the one time it will never happen again. Objection. Okay, so after that, we had... Um, that actually happened, I think it was like the first or second day that occurred. Then we had World Game Cup 2013 in Cannes, <laughs> which was from March 1st to the 3rd. Big event. Probably one of the most momentous occasions we have through the scenes escapades throughout the year, really. By far the most fun I've ever had with fighting games, personally. This is the first time you went away, isn't it, Lee? Ye well, I've been, I've been over to li the likes of England, but I've never gone that it's far. It's a different scale, isn't it? It's, it is a different scale. Yeah, and you know what? The biggest difference is, is whenever you go with a bunch of like friends that you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It makes it way better. Like, I, think, I think an event you went to would be fun. SVB is renowned for its fun. SVB <clears> was fun the first time I went, but I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Uh, the second time I went, it was horribly organized. It simply is that that's just, that's just what happened. It was badly organized. Uh, unlike, well, unlike that compared to Can, Can is fantastically organized. Plenty of players, easily in the hundreds for AE, including Marvel. Well, sorry, it gets really close to 100 for Marvel, but AE always has astronomical numbers for such a small <laughs> event compared to America. Yeah. Um, so it's a small city. event compared to America, but it seems to be the event that binds Europe. Yeah. Like, how yeah. many you players know. did AE get? I'm pretty sure they hit, like, one year did hit 200 in some One year, I think they hit the, the limit, the 256 limit. Like, yeah. Um, I don't think it was quite that big this year. I think it was a little bit smaller. Um kind of to be expected when they haven't they didn't release uh any updates about a new version or anything like that but uh mm -hmm. but still in the hundreds like it was still a massive tournament of, yeah, of humongous proportions like yeah it had a very nice stage and it had very nice setups for the uh, headsets and mm -hmm. it was just it's very professionally done mm -hmm. yeah throughout the video uh, it, there will be probably like links or pictures put to the side of this video but if in the podcast format uh, don't expect that just go search this title up on youtube you'll find it there but mm. referring just to the topics of it, um, we left really early for that event. It was from the first to the third, but we <laughs> left on like a Wednesday, didn't we? And just yeah. kind of gallivanted it, around Cannes, really. There's only flights every second day to the from Dublin to uh, to Nice Airport. Mm. Oh, so you can't just decide I'm going on the Thursday for the tournament on the Friday. And um, I don't think I want to because <laughs> the nature of my job. I know it's different for other people. The nature of my job is I don't really get long breaks very often. From work, so I go right. I'm taking, I'm taking a week off. I'm going to can. I'm going to really enjoy it. I'm going to have a few drinks. I'm going to play some games with my friends, and I'm going to enjoy being in can. So, so the the actual tournament is only half of the the deal for me, you know. Yeah. So that was worth it. It was definitely worth going for the for the whole week because mm -hmm. you got to appreciate the tournament even more. Yeah, yeah, and you got a couple of days to relax and kind of practice with your home dogs and yes. everything. I'm never saying that again. But <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jim. I let that out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but like, like coming down, coming early and everything, I think it really enhances the the trip. Like um, even the year before, we did worst worst Keith ever in our room the night before, and we were chilling out talking to him. And you know, he was talking about what I thought was hilarious. He said the term Irish model for the way tournaments are being run. The Irish model being getting people to bring their own setups instead of uh, instead of saving up for your own. <laughs> Stuff like that. Well, so. is, that, is, that, is that basically how it's done in other places? <laughs> no, well, apart, like in the more professional places, you you take you skim say ten percent off the pot, and you gradually buy your own consoles. Wow. Yeah, but That's I crazy. mean, we kind of do that. Like nutrients, nutrients save enough to go to Madagascar as we speak with, <clears> with our money. Yeah. <laughs> Almost there. The um. <laughs> The whole, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> Whenever we got over to Cannes, uh, who else? Who, who all went? It was uh, myself, you, Nutrient. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people AJ, went, man. AJ and Rach. 
Old Trinity. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Old <laughs> Trinity <laughs> College came, yeah. <laughs> the entire college. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was very busy. John showed up late. Yeah, he showed up on like the second day of the event. Did um, he have the Louis Vuitton bag? Yes, he did. Oh, good man, John. Yeah, he's, John's got some feminine bag. We don't know why. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Fergus. <laughs> they, oh, everybody in Ireland. It seems like almost everyone came. I can't think of many people that I know very well that didn't go. Our room Dominion had like 10 people depressed. in it. Huh? Dominion was pretty depressed that uh, Ladno didn't go. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. he was. Um, oh. We've even a video for him on Doom's yeah. channel. With yeah. me on the side. <laughs> what, was I, I, what was Ladno's reaction to that video, by the way? I didn't get uh, he, he basically couldn't believe I did it. <laughs> do, do you know what the story behind that was as well? Um, wasn't there one uh, last year? Yeah, what happened else? was last year... Ladno says, I'm going for a walk, and he rambles off out of our room. And mm-hmm. two minutes later, Chunkus, Reinhardt, and Mago come into the, into the room. Oh, and Chunkus yeah. is trying to, you know, Mago, I've got to get you to play this Cody player from Ireland. Right? So, obviously, I start ringing the phone going, Ladno, where the fuck are you? He left his phone in the room. Right? So, Reinhardt and Mago, we're, we're chilling with Reinhardt and Mago for a good 20 minutes. And they're like, oh, listen, we have to go, lads. Right? And we're like, yeah, okay. And five minutes later, Ladno comes back, and we're like, Ladno. Oh my god! So I thought it'd be nice to to show him that the year that he didn't come, we had Dominion chilling out in the room as well. <laughs> you know? Nice. Yeah. Oh, that no. Is he coming this year? I hope he is. I hope he is. Um, he has his own job and stuff now, so like I, I assume he'll be able to organize a few days off and and do the whole biz with us. You know. Looking at that video, I can't see Dominion. Well, yeah. That video but... is. I don't know if it was the camera. Man, he's so dark. Well done. I'm not going there, Nutrients. I'm not I'm going not there going either. There. He's... I'm just saying the lighting was not great in the room and I did my best. Man, no wonder they have Dominion mode in that game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't play that game, though. It was it you know, was a I... difficult room to light. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I can't see I'm glad Dominion's such a cool guy, because... <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, and can you, you I just know. say that he really, really is? I got to spend about, uh, I'd say, nearly 90 minutes chilling out in the room with Dominion this year. And, uh, you know, because Rachel was doing the research and he said he'd given the yes. interview. And that is lasted for now, by the way. Is she hmm? still doing more? Is she, oh, that's, I, she's a PhD, man. She'd be doing that for another two, three years. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I remember her telling me. I was so astonished. I yeah. had so much more to go. Yeah. Anyway, like, he. he we were talking PhD stuff for maybe 30 minutes and then we had a few drinks and like it was talking Cami matchup with him at one point. So like it's not often you get to talk to the kind of premier guy who plays your character in the world for for so long. Like, But it, it really, I th- for me, that was the, the absolute highlight of Cam this year. Ah. Was getting to talk to Dominion like was really really cool. It's pretty <laughs> surreal because like I really like the way that I was able to play against another beautiful Joe player. That's seen as like, oh my god, Dominion, beautiful Joe, boomerangs all over the place. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the that. day you learned how to tie your knee boomerangs. I, <laughs> I did. I played against I have... Dominion and he destroyed me. And I was like, okay. And I went back to my room and Nutri was like, okay, we're going to learn this, Lee. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. And I fucking learned how to do it. And I came back and I was like, thanks. That's funny because I did notice your your beautiful Joe has has transmogrified. 100% yeah. since. It didn't like, really take long. It took us about two minutes. I was like, nah, I'm targeting it. About two minutes. And he's like, oh, that's how you targeting it. Uh, oh, got it. All right, let's go. Improved. Yeah. Well, actually, it's it is a change in your game plan how you attack it, you know? Yeah, it isn't the tiger knee, though. It's just a jump and then a very quick charge. Like, mm. you know, you know. well, you can tiger knee it, but you're you're going to have to jump forward if, if that's the case. Yeah. Mm. But um, yeah, other than that, I've def- it's, not, it's not 100% boomerangs, but it, there's a lot of boomerangs in there as a result and then whenever I learned the combo I was like oh maybe I'll upload a new combo that I found with Beautiful Joe and I was like eh, maybe nobody will care and then Dominion sent me a tweet saying I hope I'm looking forward to seeing this combo and I was like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't forgotten I know he also he I don't know if you, if you caught that tweet like like um, he's said he he's hoping to come to Ireland next year That's yeah right. I remember that that was very uh, just after the event wasn't it yeah to take all our money yeah why did he say that well, no, he didn't say. Or take we, off. Ju- we just know that, and he didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because we're pretty clear he will take off our money. Yeah, because he's like Dominion and stuff. Yeah. So, and 
how are we going to approach this? I have about ten stories I could tell about the world. Yeah, I know. This is going to be like, a big anecdote. Of fucking hour. Se- hmm? We've already said several, and we're, we're not into But that's not even... That's a scraping the surface, yeah. though. Yeah, that's... Like, I mean, there were so many marquee, like, moments this year at the World Game Cup. For me, on my own, let alone... Like, I know you, Lee, you've... As you said, you had a lot of firsts. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It was crazy. It was absolutely. Hmm. It was fucking surreal. I mean, oh, maybe we can go at it. I don't think we can go at it by days. That'll be too hard. Like Friday's out. Oh, there's no point. I can't just, even remember. And yeah, neither can I. Um, it's all blur. Just mention what you can remember. Uh, I guess that's going purely for media footage that we have. We've we had a recording with um, Doom and Dominion in the room, um, yes. yeah. giving a message to Ladno. Uh, small vlog I done. Um, that was just over the course of five ten minutes. We encapsulated a bit of the room antics. Um, a few pictures, I guess, but I, I have no idea where any of these pictures are of the event itself. Uh, I guess the best way to tackle it is uh, the first day we went to the event, I suppose. Because just before that, we were just really relaxing, chilling out, having a few drinks, getting, just having a laugh, really. As we having a few more drinks. the hotel. Yeah, I mean, so, it was just <laughs> Oh, God, that's right. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that whenever I'm in a room and all my roommates are making so much noise, they can't keep them quiet. There's people ah, yeah, the yeah. Well, I, I'm not going to name any names. Right, mm. I had a lot to drink, right, oh. and I was sitting there going, "I wish these guys would shut up." At one point, mm. okay. <laughs> just gonna leave it there. <laughs> mm. So you didn't have to say it because the hotel managers came up and started. Thankfully, that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fish finger bed. Oh, the fish finger bed was the best. I, was, I didn't even want to mention it. I thought it wasn't worth bringing up. Yes, it is. Doiler out. Doiler kicked me out of my room and put me into a fish finger bed. <laughs> A miserable what? thing. Oh, Jesus. There, there's like a small folder, fold out bed underneath yeah. the one of the chairs. And whenever it was all folded out, Dory said, This is a fish finger. Because <laughs> it looks like a fish finger. You know, whenever you take off all the crumbs. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, my arms. I couldn't even keep my arms in the bed. I was trying to do like the whole count, like sleeping yeah. position. I couldn't do it. Like, oh, fall off the bed. Uh, it was it. hilarious because, I mean,. Everyone as a kid, they would always take the crumbs off and see the the perfect white <laughs> tiny rectangle. Yeah, that is the fish finger, and that's exactly what the bed looks yeah. like. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, we have one of them in our room as well. Oh, it's God. pretty close to skill. Did you too. put the largest it's person in the room onto it? Because that's what we yeah, did. Yeah, well, like, how do you define largest person in a room that uh, has me and Aaron in it? Oh, gee, yeah, <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, Aaron's a big guy. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, I did there's no way. The next time. Yeah, there's no way he was sleeping on that. So they got the room. I was on the couch, the couch couch, not the all yeah, the way fit. Sure. Yeah. Um. So really, yeah, I don't know. Encap- uh, pretty much talking about room antics. I guess I'd come into stories, but that's all before the event. It's some a bit in the middle of the event where we start spreading out from our own scene and interacting with the French, uh, yeah. Greek, um, UK. There's Italians as well, wasn't there? It's, I think. So. Oh yes, Italians came to our room. But we yeah, so, someone remembered like Italian, me so because of Irish like... sim. Yeah. <laughs> <it's... gasps> Italian sim, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this year, though, was different, though, um, because we were prepared. We uh, had a lot more players, just naming a couple of the players of the top people that we had over. Um, I think Doom, you know, all of the AE players. Ladno came over this time. He wasn't here this year. Was he not? No. What do I feel? Oh, wait, who came? Bloody... Wasn't there a dude called Bumfood? Bumfood? Oh, yeah, Bumfood was from... Yeah, he's from another country, but uh, he was... He, he hangs was around sang- the IRC, sang- so... In AE, was... but sorry, go on. No, no, that's all I was having to say. Yeah. It was just a Zangief player that played AE, yeah. and he showed um, up. Him. Oh, well, if a... anything, I think AE was just a stronger group of people, wasn't it? This time, we actually had a full team for the five. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there's in the in the AE tournament. It's in the World Cup tournament. We got our first win by a bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got through the first Ooh. round without having to lift to lift a finger, and then the second round we got Japan. Oh, yeah. And. Uh, we didn't lose miserably against Japan, which it was you know, losing awesome. miserably against the Italy versus taking off two players from Japan. You know that's that's definite improvement. Definitely. Uh, uh, I would like to say I would like to say one of my highlights was watching AJ take on. Oh, uh, Itabashi Zangief. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. it was great. It was great fun. What crouch medium kick? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great fight. He was so unlucky to lose it. I know. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but go, no, go on. No, no, no. But um, the, a funny story about that, right? Um, 
going from from that absolutely awesome experience playing Team Japan, and uh, I th and I remember Doyler saying, Doyler went first first anecdote from that right. Oh. Doyler sits down to play and he sees Takedo leaning over into the Roses player's ear and start giving them the voice and he said like, "You've no yeah. idea how intimidating that is." <laughs> <laughs> Because he really looks up to to to, uh, to, to to Kido, yeah. To Kido, yeah. He really yeah. does. He loves yeah. like, watching his Nakuma. Like, whenever it was like, and now, to Kido. And then, like, Doyler literally grabs us and it's like, we're going, we're watching this. And he sits us down, and then we all sit down and watch to Kido play. He's my favorite Japanese player, too, I have to admit. Like, <laughs> just because he's cool. Like, and anyway, he, um, other than that, the next day we went to the AE tournament. In the first round, I sat down against this guy, and he was, and he was, I think he was French. He was like, "Ah, you from Ireland?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He was, "Oh, I saw your Ryu player. He's so good. I play Ryu too." And he picks Ryu, oh. and I went, "Oh yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. I live with him, and I pick guy." <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God, the look on his face. <laughs> I live with that guy. <laughs> so yeah, because I, I my email is lacking, but basically an unexperienced for you, it's like a nightmare for him, right? Yeah. So, but you know, if he knows the gun matchup, it's pretty all right. That that's it. like I I would be of the opinion that the more experience the Ryu has, the better the match goes for Ryu. Like if you have two people who don't know how to play your game, Guile versus Ryu, it's it's pretty heavily in Guile's favor. Because all he has to do is Sonic Boom and Anti-Air correctly, whereas Ryu has to find ways to get damaged. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so in this case, it was just 10 over you, I guess. If, oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was, it was, <laughs> he was mind-effed before he started. <laughs> I'm sure that's a matchup that's turned a lot of people off, Street Fighter, to be honest. Just learning the game. I'm pretty sure it has, yeah. <laughs> Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. I'm done. We did pretty... Like, we represented relatively well in the main tournament as well. I can remember... When everyone else had been knocked out, there was me and Jun sitting there waiting for our next matches, and I kind of worked it out, and I think we were in top 32. Oh, that was a good goal. Yeah. And, um, like, I lost to Takedo, which, you know, it's going to happen. And uh, I lost to a Blanca as well in the end, which is a rough enough rough enough match for, for Guile, but it was, it was no slaughter or anything. But I'm still the daddy was watching with me, and then we got Pally when I'm still the daddy for the next day, and I had a, such a laugh with him. At one point, we were we were in whatever Marvel room after, and I was there when I'm still the daddy, and yes. um, you know I have a tiny little bit of French, tiny bit of French, enough to maybe string a sentence or two together, but I seem to have told him that I speak French. <laughs> And then I was just telling him complete rubbish and telling him, yeah, this is a sentence in French. I just, bullshit, like, just complete rubbish. And then we'd send him off to say it to a French person. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. As you do. Like, Doyler has other funny stories about I'm still the daddy wash. I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. He's, a, he's definitely a comedian. Mm. Fun guy to All be right. around. All right, one last story for me about World Game Cup, and then I'll let you talk about your World Game Cup. Sure. Okay. Right? Was everyone knows, I assume everyone who's watching this knows about uh, Focus, you need to study more. Yes. It's right. linked. It's already linked. Yeah. So I went up to Takedo. I had to play him. I knew I had to play him. And I said, Hi, Takedo. You have me next. He's like, All right. And I said, Do you remember Fergus? You need to study more. And he goes, Ah, yes, Fergus. Huh? And I was like, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did that go? What? How did that go? It's like it just went. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, basically, it's, oh, hi, hi. Because huh. you know, Fergus and Taquito. I expected. But um, what was gas as well was there's another Taquito uh, moment was because Taquito's just the best. There is this really funny moment. And Dave, Dave was filming me, and I knew I had Taquito next. And they were like, "How do you feel about playing Taquito?" I'm like, "Yeah, I have to play Hound and Doyler. Taquito will be no problem." <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you'll be free. Taquito is standing right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and when Dave realized Taquito was there, instead of panning the camera, he turned it off. Uh, wow. It would have been the best, the wow. absolute. Best video ever. Oh, no, he was probably like giving the murder face and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. And like the, the worst thing you can do whenever you're trying to record stuff is quickly turn the camera off because you're like, okay, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. And yeah, you should always catch better the, stuff. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. So that was my uh, my World Cup anyway. So shoot, whoever's next. Oh, that's pretty much quick. Um, I guess we can interchange. I guess Lee, me, and yourself. Uh, my story's uh, not too long, but um, I guess I'll just go over how the tournaments I uh, participated in went. Uh-huh. Uh, Marvel, I think I came maybe top thirty-two. I can't even remember. I got destroyed by nothing but yeah. zeros this year. This was the year of the zero. It was horrible. Uh. Two, oh yeah, um, out of the best of three, uh, the second, the first match I had was against Bubbleland, and the way that went is, do you know the way Marvel is three to five? Well, he thought it was best of three, so how it went was he won his two <gasps> games and said, "Okay, nice game," and stood up oh. looking for the organizer. And I said, hey, wait a minute, Marvel, that's bullshit. And I was like going looking for the organizer. Okay, is this best of three or five? And he goes, "Oh, it's three to five. It always is. America makes sure we always follow their rules." And I was like, um, "Yeah, we only done two matches." And he's like. Find Bubbleland and complete your set. And how that all ended out was 3 2. So I at least had a nice chance to kind of redeem it, but I almost at the same time lost to an inconsistency of rules. Damn. Hard to well, do that. It just, it just it broke the flow. You were ready to make Pretty the, the much, three, yeah. three game row, in a row comeback, and then it's just like, oh, oh wait. wait. I was kind of happy as well, though, because it kind of reset my mind as well. Because when he said, oh, we're done, okay, good game, and I was left to ruminate oh. a bit, I got to stand, I stood up and just double-checked. I, just, I didn't think he was lying. I, I thought it was very suspicious now. I know I kind of came off and said, like, he's a liar. No, I was kind of like, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe it was just best of three, or best, uh, yeah, best of three, I guess, or whatever. Um, best of two, sorry. Um, so I don't I went think to... anyone would get very far was trying to say, that. oh, no, no, I'm done. Yeah, so we'll I just thought it was two to three, not three to five, so I was like, all right. I'll just go double check as I'm giving the rules. Like, yeah, he won 2 0. I was like, how did he win 2 0? And then that's when I came out. I was like, oh, I haven't had a chance to not get knocked into losers yet. And I still did, but nah, fighting for my life anyway. So it was good to have the opportunity to at least go at it again with a different mindset. Yeah. So that was Bubble Ann. Played another match against another Zero player. Uh, who was it? I'm actually, you know, that was the, that knocks me out of the tournament now. That was the third match. The second match, I had to fight Force Edge, who was an Irish Marvel player. Oh, <laughs> so he Ooh. walked over, thinking, "Oh, what's up, Lucid? I'm just having my match now." I was like, "Oh yeah, that's me. Me and you are playing." <laughs> yeah, yeah, Force Edge. Yeah, that's me and you. Me and Trinity. Let's go. Charging started him to death. Uh, then <coughs> he got knocked out to losers, I believe. Then I had to play another zero, and it just I lost, and it was like, "Screw this. Zero is bullshit. <laughs> Worst game ever." And <laughs> moved on my merry way, and. Um, then we done a. There was only two tournaments I entered in, which was Marvel singles and a three v three with yourself and Doyler, which the team was called. God, I can't remember now. Uh, you remember the name, don't you, Lee? Oh, uh, it was like yes, uh, Avengers. It was not. That's a crap name. No, it was something good. <laughs> what? That's a terrible it was name. Like, it was like yes, attorneys or something like Stars that. Stars and pipe or something. No, you're the one that you wanted to use was. Um... Red pipe and blue. <laughs> Red pipe and blue. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Well, that, we'll use that next time if all three of us are going. We, if we want to be in the same team, but I, you could mix it up. If that's the case, I will insist that we use that name this time on. Yeah, because our name was at the comprise of Hagger, Captain America, and Phoenix, right? So I mean, yeah. I think it was something like East Avengers. Yeah, we I'm had a lot of variety to go with, even alliteration names like that. We had a lot to work with, but that went very well actually at first. And I'll let you take the part after the first set um, and. It, talk about how that went um I, yeah sort of the first match of the 3v3 um the 3-0 the team i think it was myself that 3-0 the team i got i got no 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 they beat me because i went first and then you saved the day ah right yes and Dora was just like lost somewhere parading around <laughs> he was just like running around with the little spinny thing yeah but... just for any information Dora at this point was just a uh, playing AE at the time so we, he was kind of like the stocking stuffer for our team and the name <laughs> would have been terrible without his fantastic team layout so he was off gallivanting I don't know eating marshmallows or he was know. fucking watching he was watching sure? he was... yes he was pretty sure he we was... had to go find him for that though did we we were both watching and we were both hoping that you would win and you did so we were we were both delighted oh okay hmm. don't worry don't worry we were there we were there alright so it went from that to the first and I think it was the second match uh, was it the second match that led to our demise uh, yes okay would you like yes. to take that then <laughs> I got post traumatic stress disorder. I can't remember anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, well, no, we, we had an interesting play. team to play against. <laughs> we got to play against Dominion and his uh, and his posse. Yeah. 
But um, I can't exactly remember how how it went on. I think I, I went first. I remember. I remember what happened. <laughs> Dominion saw you please. beat someone, and then oh. he went, "I'm going first because I want to play that guy." Okay, yeah, that, it went on like that, and it was very fucking close because <laughs> I had him in a killing combo that I could have finished, and I dropped the. Easy, it was literally day one, Dante. I totally choked. To the extreme, and to to be completely fair, I did play against Dominion later on that day, and he like ten owed me or something, and I it would have went very differently if I knew if he knew the kind of like random red hot kick dive that I did at the start in our first fight. It's just uh, I even got turn by mode Morgan just Morgan me to death. Yeah, because when I went after that, I don't even can't remember. I can't remember after that. I just think the way it went. I think it was me or Doyle went first, and it all came down to you. And yeah, it was just one of those clutch moments where, you know, it just turned out the wrong way, unfortunately. Was I the last one on our team? Yeah, you were. Damn. I think you were. Uh, and even if you weren't, Doyle was pretty much sealing the deal of yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh. He wasn't playing at the time. It was Captain America and Morgan. Yeah. No, was... not happening. Sorry, Iron Man, Tony, pack it up. Damn. Um, yeah, but uh. Um, handshake was lovely. Dominion's got some of the most Dominion. memorable handshakes ever. Oh my god! I mean, you know what? Every now and again, I'll just be like, "Do you want to? Do you want to know what it's like to shake Dominion's hand?" And <laughs> they'll go to shake my hand and go, ah! <laughs> "It's like shaking a wet cloth." No, because it's just very limp. Oh, it's so limp. But he's such yeah. a nice guy. This is what I was actually going to mention earlier, but uh, I just I know. forgot it. He does not represent the American scene as they appear. At all, no. he is one of the nicest. He was, it was like more conversing with an Irish player, how timid he was and almost taciturn. Really, he's a pretty class act, basically. Yeah. He really is. Yeah, great guy. Um, that being said, if he goes to shake my hand again, I'm going to shake his hand the same way, and it'll just be a clash. <laughs> it'll just be horrible. Uh, <laughs> rubbing stumps together. Uh, <laughs> I hope he's not listening right now. <laughs> I'll remember that light arrow. <laughs> Uh, I look for. I hope he's able to go to counts again this time. If not, I'll probably see him at Evo. Or oh, he'll no. come here, and we'll send it to your right. door. Oh yeah, that's right. Hopefully, he'll come over here. Yeah, he's just knocking your door. I'm gonna light you up. Let's go. First ten. That one. Lee, well. are you com are, are you pretty much confirming you're heading to Evo this year? No, I haven't confirmed. Evo, yeah. Really, I'd really like to go, and I'm pretty sure I could go. You oh. could well, you could send up that set up that uh, Indiegogo that everyone's demanding. I'm you not <laughs> Indiegogo. No way. It's not. It's not the money. It's uh, it's a matter of like getting the uh, time. It's to principle. Go. I get it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not, not even principle. It's it's like, can I go? And then my boss is like, no. And I'm like, yes. And I'll slap him. But then I'll Dublin. <laughs> oh, but no. yes, that's right. They're, they're all from Dublin. So um, it's, for, it's for the Dublin scene. They'll be like, oh, okay. yeah. Your fan base really wants you to go to Evo, and as do we all. But um, this I uh, just even know what I do. <laughs> This is the one year that we didn't actually have a, a go to Evo event, so Can was pretty much replacing that for our yeah, annual event. So. It's more, um, it's it's a better thing, I think. Yeah. It's more realistic. Yeah, like Can was basically our next. It was our annual event for the year, hands down. Um, yeah. But going off the Marvel Three v Three story, uh, yeah. So knocked out that tournament. Knocked out that tournament. Um, yes. We all went uh, off, played casuals. Um, just one before I let it on to you to give you a few of your own anecdotes. One of my favorite times I was there was playing Street Fighter Cross Tekken wait for it I'm not done <laughs> and I was playing with Fergus and just me and Fergus and it was an empty little square area it was a very like 5x5 five five meters just a bit of an empty space about 8 setups lined up against the right angle of a wall just lined up there and me and Fergus were just playing having some casuals he was getting ready to go into the Street Fighter oh, sorry I was also in the Street Fighter Cross Tekken tournament so just those three tournaments I was, I was also in that and we were just yes. playing, and I was just getting my relento pokes down, you know, jab, jab, jab. Make sure I got them consistent, because hard thing to do, you know? Jab, jab, jab. <laughs> Four jab. Um, so we played, and as me and Fergus were playing, a few players came over to watch a few of the games. Oh. Uh, first was Gamer B, who was taken by uh, Fergus's Asuka. Then uh, Mago came over from his shoulder. Then Takedo. Then Alion. And they were all watching us play Strecken, and... I didn't know this. Fergus knew very well. Uh, he turned around like, oh shit. I was just playing like, hey, you're getting bodied, Fergus. And I just perfect, whatever, I got like a perfect randomly oh, against him. Oh no, Because he was didn't. just distracted. He was just watching them like, oh my god. <laughs> um, so he gets up and he's like, I'm just going to let his guy play. Like, oh, there's someone else here? Who? And then sits down to Keto. And I'm like, who is this? He looks a lot like the guy from Akira. Oh my fuck. <laughs> so he puts down his nice little stick with the silent buttons, you know, the new Mad Cat stick. It's like, 
few games. Like, I don't, maybe. I think, I'm looking at Fergus because he can play the game properly at a good level. I'm like, Fergus, she plays it. I'm off Tekken. He goes off and plays Tekken. I'm like, that's where my hatred for the game started. Fergus abandoned me with the keto to get body. <laughs> Just left me alone. And it and didn't go too badly, actually. He... Oh, did he? Did, did it? Did it didn't go terribly. Well? Like, he's playing Nina, and it wasn't actually going too bad because he was respecting me as though I was fantastic at the game. Yeah. And then I took a round out of five games. But other than that, <laughs> Detonation. And that's why it came with me. When I go into the restroom, I'm like, hmm, this guy's not very good. And they just slowly careen off to a Tekken setup to watch oh, anything oh. else. And then the one thing that was notable after I stood up, because, um, Gamer B came back and was like, can I have some games? I thought he was going to give me advice or tell me, oh, this or that, you're doing it wrong. But he was just like, can I have games? I'm like, just one more. I'll play one more with Takedo. Got to destroy the <laughs> viscerate and I stood up. And then Alion actually mentioned me and said, I'd like to play you in Marvel. Yeah, you're the Irish guy. Let's play some games in Marvel. I was like, uh, sorry, gotta go. I'm stressed. And I walked off because I was confazzled. I got destroyed in Shrekin. But uh, I think you're coming to the end of the set. So I walked off into the crowd to watch something else. Nutrient dodge in those Marvel matches. Man, I was stressed. It was awesome. That was really awesome though playing Takedo because that was a game I mained and loved. I feel like I would have had a tragic breakdown from how badly it went later. But yeah. no, it was pretty mellow and they're respectable dudes. Um, That's a good highlight. Yeah, it was amazing. Because <laughs> then it comes down to the tournament later on, which I'll go into. Yeah. But um, you had a few experiences with Dominion, uh, Alion yourself, didn't you? Like away from the Actually, tournament in the event. That- that's, well, I didn't get to play against Dominion before the tournament, but I was playing against Alion, and um, Alion was destroying everyone, and then I sat down and played a couple of matches, and I got to beat him. And then Dodo ran over and says, Oh my god, you just beat Alion! And I was like, Who? <laughs> oh, shit! So I actually knew who Alion was after that, and I was really nervous the next time. I wish he never said anything. <laughs> so really bad. It's, it's, it's insane the difference whenever you don't know who you're up against, and he's just like, Oh, it's so another guy, you just play against them. But your whole mindset completely does a topsy turvy reverse whenever you you know that they're really really good at the game and they're always winning tournaments and this is a big deal if you win and it's like nope 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 ko yeah. fuck damn it's there's something definitely different to some celebrity icon you're not even playing the guy it's just his name you're just fighting his name really. <laughs> you're like oh, I'm just fighting Alion or Dominion or fighting anyone. There is an element of that. I mean, like, there is also, like, a lot of skill, but whenever you're trying to think, oh, God, I should need to watch out for this and this and this, and then they can just capitalize on whatever fuck-up you make. Yeah. Instead of the madness that is normally Marvel, where you're just going, ha, 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 pressing buttons. Yeah. Well, there was actually a moment where one of the setups was taking up a casual setup with Alion, and he was just playing everyone in Marvel. And, yeah, yeah Dorla came to my aid also. Uh, he was on an eight-win streak once I sat down, and I lost one game to Alion's Phoenix, Morgan, and Magneto. And then it went to nine streak and the second it goes to a nine Dorla comes over man you got bodied I was like what have I even done so that was a different guy's streak I just started <laughs> losing which turned out I, I ended up losing like 6 or 7 oh, very very close clutch matches because Phoenix being as she is no health you have enough to take one combo then yeah. you die because Dark it's Phoenix like, is what yeah. she does so they all came close enough but he was definitely outplaying me throughout the entire set to a point at which he got to like 26 games wins in a row and in Marvel that's a legitimate you can't just get that. There's nothing random. Or, there's no serendipity involved or entropy. That's just skill based. And then Doyle sat down with a game. I think he was slightly inebriated at this stage too, because he pulled out his Iron Man. He was playing a bit funny. Maybe it was he after did. that, but he came. Is there any other way to play him? Uh, what? Not Iron Man. <laughs> slightly inebriated. <laughs> no, I mean, I no, I'm not kidding. Well, I mean, literally, Eric- Doyle. I think he actually was. <laughs> we call the character Drunk Magneto for a reason, you know. He drags exactly. Everywhere. Yeah, Jesus, dude's dashed, just slides everywhere. Uh, any other tournaments? Oh, there was, there was the five v five. Hang on, hang on. I'll just mention I got to play against Mago. It was Mago, yeah. Yo, it was yeah. Mago. Yeah. It was Mago, and uh, I was, I got it was first to three, and I got two in a row, and then I choked really bad with Phoenix right, and I could have totally won, and then I didn't, and it was really sad. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. And then there was the 5v5, which we will, yeah, we'll talk about that, and then maybe that's that's enough about March. Mm, yeah, it will be. Um, going up, what was the last thing I can think of top of my head? Uh, oh, yeah, Strecken. I beat Takedo in Strecken. Um, what else was there? Did you? Well, he got DQ'd. Oh, okay. So I took that as a win. <laughs> right, you won my buy. 
Yeah, Ugh. but uh, the thing about that was they registered me. And actually, that was the thing with the entire event. I almost didn't play in any of the tournaments that day because I was registered under the wrong name for some reason. I spent about five minutes at the boot talking with Kermit. Like, what's up? What's going on? It's like, oh, you're not in the system. Whoa! Speaking of, what about the seating points? They didn't really. Work I didn't get either. seating points either. Yeah, I didn't get any seating points. Either. Yeah, <laughs> so even from before that, wrote the can. The seating points were distributed a little oddly, as well. They weren't for the Marvel yeah. players anyway. Um, uh, I thought the Street Fighter ones were distributed excellently. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it was just that they forgot, or there was just some mismanagement. Oh, because Voa said there was some weird information for Marvel seating points. A was done splendidly, I believe, but I think Marvel was just there was a little confusion behind it. Mm -hmm. So in the end of it, I had to re-register at the event under a different name, which I wasn't told I was under until later on when Streckham was going about. And they were calling my name, which is my last name, with a 16. So Carriker, 16. All right. They're French. Now, this isn't going to come out the yeah. same. So I think they would call it as Saraki 16, I think it was. And yeah. I had a match after the keto got DQ'd. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, I can brag about this forever, guys. Nutrient beats the keto. Look on Challenge, but under a different <laughs> name. It's like, oh, that's not you. That's Sharaki 16. Oh, no. Like, oh, that's my bragging rights. But uh, even after that, like, I had a really rough bracket. It was the keto, and uh, my next match was Doyler, which I'll get to. And then after Doyler, I would have had to play Reinhardt or someone else who was, like, <laughs> the whole striking term was filled with killers. It was horrible. <laughs> Uh, the way Takeo got the cute, he actually just quit. Uh, he was on stage in a five v five with a guy came over to him. He's like, uh, "Nah, screw it, I won't play that." Because he was, I think, this is when he was actually giving tips for one of the team tournaments. So he's like, "Nah, just forget that." He's probably playing the Irish team. Probably, actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> everyone was really busy, so we didn't all keep track with all the Irish guys. We were all doing our own things, so he could have been giving advice as I was <laughs> over there, like, "What's going on?" Um, so after that happened, then you were looking for me, but they were screaming and yelling, there was murder over at the Strecken boot. And I wandered over because I was looking for John at the time because he had a match to play with I'm Still a Daddy in Street Fighter. And mm -hmm. uh, as they're there, the daughter comes over, man, I think I might go through again and have to play Reinhardt. And we were both excited. I was like, yeah, who are they looking for? There's this one guy they can't find, a uh, Saraki 16. I was like, what? And I read it. And he's like, daughter, that's an Irish name. That's me. And then he snapped because I was talking to him right before they started announcing it or started calling out the names. So the whole second tournament was held up by me, not knowing that it was me being called the entire time for like 10 minutes. So then we played our match, and I lost miserably to Dorler. And then he stands up like, this game shit. And he just walks <laughs> off. And then I don't know what happens to him for the rest of the event, but that's checking. That's how that went. Um, Fuck this game. Yeah, so that was me doing for all the tournaments. Um, there's so many other small things that occurred at the event itself, but uh, I can't think of any more stories personally for the event itself other than when we got back from uh, the tournament itself into the hotel rooms when we started inviting players over started going to other players room like the UK room having our games having some matches some money matches even um do, do you recall any special events had after the tournament in the hotel by any chance uh honestly the the I I the I was in a Marvel room with a lot of money matches and stuff, with a lot of kit, like Dominion was in the room oh. with White Black and, you know, the proper heavy players. But that was the night that I decided that I was getting ossified and, and uh, teaching I'm still the daddy French. So <laughs> <laughs> Everything was a heels after that. Yeah, it was it's, the part it's... where we went to the pub and you and Doyler and AJ had a ball. And oh, then that just was... door oh back was... into the building. That was the first day, right? That... That was occurring while Nutrient was having his little story about Takedo and Gamer B. Yes. Right, it was the first day of the actual tournament. And <laughs> I remember because I have walked in on that at the end. What had happened was, right, um, we were in a 3v3. And this was back in my I can't play Balrog phase <laughs> when I used to have fierce trouble with Rogs. I have since play learned the character to play somewhat. So I've kind of gotten over that now. But at the time, we were in a 3v3. And uh, last year, myself and Ladno ha had bodied a 3v3. We got to the grand finals of our, uh, of, of, of our um, what do you call it? Hmm? It's not group, but our subsection of the bracket. Name oh. is temporarily escaping me. Anyway, we, we had to play Team Japan. Like, we'd gotten that far that the only people to stand in our way were Japan, like, in our bracket, in the final of the bracket. And... Uh, Along the way, like I had OCV teams and and I had no OCV the team, and you know we we had a great time last year in the three v three, and this year was me and Doyler and AJ, and I was there like, 
yeah, let's 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 do this, let's do this. And uh, first first player on the other team was a rog, and I was there like lads of dump like playing mm -hmm. rogs, and the other was all like, yeah, rog free, I'll handle it. The two of them, <laughs> two of them got destroyed by the rog, <laughs> then I got bodied, and I was there like lads, f this noise, I'm getting drunk, and. <laughs> Maybe ten of us went straight over to the pub at one o'clock. We found an Irish pub directly opposite the venue, so and good. we, we, I'd say we got happy drunk though. Do you know what I mean? We we, we were drunk, but we were having a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, it wasn't kids of whenever we were like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, I'm gonna go back there and kick all their asses. And, the old <laughs> yeah. and that's the ex building. exactly what didn't happen. But we did return to the building, and that's where I found new like Alleyun and nutrients yes. and. Gamer B and Taquito all just like hanging around. Jesus. I I think I may have insulted Aliun by accident. Oh, <gasps> yeah. I can't even remember what it was I said, but. Do you sell volavons uh, here? I have looked for them and I can't find any. <laughs> That's pretty much just my entire time there, asking for mm. volavons. Couldn't find any. <laughs> Bit bizarre, but. However. But that's there's a little clip of of I'll I'll, I'll link the W or you will the WGC yeah. uh, vlog. You know the vlog I did? Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. So you can actually see us getting slowly ossified in that vlog. Yeah. There's footage from the pub. And you know what? That was a great pub and they treated us really well. And we went back two or three times over the course awesome. of that week. And yeah, I intend awesome. to go back again this year if it's still there. Absolutely. So. We are going to the same, uh, going to the same hotel, right? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. I probably won't get a five-man room again because I'm old. So. <laughs> Um, I can I can uh, relate with that. That would be not a bad idea. I can't really relate with that. Uh, one if you're the... bringing if you're bringing any consoles, bring them in secret. Yeah, if one tip anyone going to can, if you're going to let people know you have a console, be very wary who you're yeah, telling yeah. it to. Absolutely, you'll get be... unless you want everyone that is really popular there, but they won't ever leave. Let me tell you, if you want everyone, then you've just got your you don't know what you want. Yeah, we had the entire. I think it was the Italian scene that came into our room, Lee, and we were just like sitting there watching from the table. It wasn't even that bad because I mean yeah. that was that was a small group, and Dorder was just sitting there getting a little bit angry, and I'm like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna go beat them all and then get them out of here." And like, <laughs> oh, but he did. Dorder got bopped. <laughs> he did. He I think them all. Dorder got bopped, and then he sat down, and then he was he was mulling over, it, and then he went back and had a couple of games. But I mean, that was a small example. There was the likes of the Marvel room where Hydra Reed was staying there with uh, Chrome Alchemist. They were up to like fucking. <sighs> Two, three, four, four in the morning, and you know, whenever you got a tournament the next day, and he's like, oh, I, or even, even the last day, whenever it was up to like five or six in the morning, and he was like, I have to get a plane tomorrow morning, and I can't sleep because there's twenty people. Twenty, like way even, more you know, than twenty. <laughs> there was way more than twenty, but whenever it was getting to the part where he was trying to get everyone out, and there was still twenty left. Yeah, you weren't meant to be in the room, and it was loud as hell. Like, how how's, how how are you gonna sleep through that? Are you man, it was so loud. They had a beautiful view in the hotels, but they had the they had it's, one of the penthouse rooms at the hotel. You could see the ocean, the mountains. It was a lovely view as well. Speaking of though, um, highlight for me the no, literally the best part of my uh, visit over to Cannes was my money match with Clutch. <laughs> that was the best. Jesus Christ! I'm you so popped sad. off at him. What the hell? I did. <laughs> it was well. It was the biggest comeback that I oh, ever dude. made ever in my life. I had Beautiful Joe with no X Factor, and he had his whole team. What are you blocking for? <laughs> Aren't you blocking that? Am I blocking now? Am I blocking now? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, that's not what I said. But I mean, it was just like I beat him, and then I just jumped up and I touched the ceiling, and everyone was shouting like, "Yeah!" It was the best. I was so sad that Chrome Alchemist was recording it, and then afterwards he says, "No, the." Uh, the recording's corrupted. I can't give you it. All the recordings that we're, we're reading are always corrupted. They're yeah. always fine. It's like, oh, came in in HD just, quality. Story <laughs> of my life. Got the Irish getting bodied. HD 1080p. Well, <laughs> I've an LGP now. Technically, I could bring a recording device and it wouldn't take any space at Excellent, all. Excellent, yeah. I, I would know. take my, my, well, just phone. Phone would be good. Oh, wait, no, there's that nice camera that I got through. Hmm. Oh. Just actually going back to that match where Dorla got bodied, he did come back from that and win. Like in the, when he came back and he won, he said, that guy was shit. I don't know how I lost. <laughs> Just because he'll put my head off if I don't mention that. He did body the guy. I think it was like a Honda or a Bison or a Balrog. It was somebody. But he did win in the end. It was getting annoyed because every time they would be playing against them, they would lose and then they would win. And the first game that they would win, they'd quickly get up happily and then say, Arigato, Arigato, and then <laughs> wait for the next guy to come over and play. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what they would say. So he's just like, yeah. these people, yeah. they're trolling me so hard. So, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll wrap up uh, Martin about the next five, ten minutes, and we'll have a break, and then we'll continue this for however long it takes, I guess. Next time. Not a stupid amount of time, hopefully, but. Um, yeah, to be, to be fair, I reckon the rest of the year will take as long as March will on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll clear March even faster than, than five minutes. Um, anything off topic. There's a lot of fantastic bread romantics. A few videos will be linked here showing a highlight of them. A um, lot of stuff for the event. Uh, just going 5v5. Back. Yeah, technically. The Marvel 5v5. That was never mentioned. Um, yeah, we'll get to that. Um, just <laughs> brushing over it as the two groups, which the main thing of the weekend that happened, there was usually two separate groups for AE. And one would go off and drink the sorrows and come back happier, and then play like Doyler going against F word, pretty drunk. God, it was a bit miserable to watch. Uh, then coming back, tearing up the entire event. Uh, then me, Lee, and a few others just chilling out, trying to find matches, which didn't go well. But um, tearing the entire event, I don't know. Yeah, going on to before we just ended up the five v five with Marvel. How did how did that go actually? Terribly. I got to play first. Uh, I shouldn't have went first. Uh, Aliyun destroyed me. Well, actually, no, I got, I got oh, my God, objection, I remember too. now. I blocked all the 5v5 out. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Here we go. This is it. I, I needed you to remember this because uh, it was me first. Then it was... I think it was Boa. Actually, Boa nearly put me out in the Marvel tournament. I feel like I should mention that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was terrified. I was like, what's going on here? He's beating me two matches in a row, and I only need to beat one more. Oh, I, had to, I had to get 3-2. It was crazy. I was so terrified. Um... But then Boa went next, and then Doyler, and who was in our team? Who else was in our team? Uh, uh, Dark, Dark Talent? Uh, wasn't Aladdin when he got taunted or something? Oh, that's already a year before. Oh, was, oh, come on. Dark Talent was there. He, he was definitely on our team. Oh, yeah, no, he was. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, no, Aladdin got taunted the year before that. That was funny. And uh, then it was all down to Hagar. Uh, the whole crowd went hype when they saw that shit. They're like, yo, come I on, know. Hagar, yeah! And they didn't know. It was like, near the die. <laughs> <laughs> got destroyed. All the guys are like, he's got a plan. He's got a plan. Yeah, yeah. Swing pipe. Hopefully, he gets hit by it. Oh, oh it getting hit by it. Plans up. It was fun. It was fun. Do Do you have something of a reputation in Europe, Nutrient? Like, why Why was there that big cheer? Was it just Hagger, or were people like, I've heard about this uh, Irish Hagger? I'm mostly gonna. I don't really know. I'm seldomly known. I guess I get seldom mentions. Um. I think it's mo it was mostly the Hagger thing because when you see Hagger going up against the, the ultimate counter pick Morrigan and mm -hmm. Magni, oh, yeah, it, I think it was the character. Yeah, I definitely okay. do. Yeah, I don't know. Part of it. You know all these messages I get about Nutrient. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of screenshots and messages. Oh, I'm such a big fan of Nutrients. I love this Hagger. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of those too. Like you inspired me to play Hagger and. No shit, really, so, they do. I get a lot of uh, yeah. inspirational messages, which is heartwarming. Um, and si simil similarly, I would say that, like, of of the of the Marvel matches I have, like, like, like having you in a Marvel match will spike. It's some like obviously Lee is still kind of the the marquee name of my channel almost. I but, shh, shh, shh. but like, if this if nutrients in the video as well, it does spike it somewhat at this point. Yeah. Like, so. Um, Absolutely. So as that match uh, progressed, yeah, we lost horribly. We all had our hugs and handshakes with the other team. Like, oh, if we hadn't picked that character, we wouldn't have lost. And they're like, what? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Um, as I getting off the stage, just one final thing for me. I saw Takedo just sleeping, hugging his arcade stick with trophies, berated all over him <laughs> in his chair. That man was <laughs> just, he had it good. He was just Aww. chilling out with a stick in the left side, trophy on the right, as big as him, and he's just asleep. Like a little baby. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, Takedo Kawaii. And he's just having dreams of winning everything. Probably, yeah. A bit murder faced looking though. I mean he was cute as well, but <laughs> faces start jerking and all. Um yeah, so five v five went down. Uh like mental. All um, in all it all went very well. Yeah, I you was... were late actually. You were almost very late for Marvel Five V five. Please don't even talk about that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Doom, Doom was with us for that, Doom. Uh, oh Jesus. <laughs> that will not happen again. No sorry. <laughs> Doyler can be late if he wants, but I'll fucking be there. You don't rush a lady, Nutrient. That's all I'll say. Never yes, rush a lady. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I could only know because I could, uh, I could sympathize with the idea of having to get a, a costume on for a convention. Because it usually takes me quite a long time as well. 
The amount of belts for a Dante costume, man. To be fair, she was dressed up as Harley Quinn, which requires a lot of makeup, so... Yeah, oh yeah, we had a Harley Quinn tire in our room. That was weird. That was yeah. the reason why we were late. Um, yeah, weird. Deborah, Deborah, daughter's friend, she wanted to go to the event as well, but uh, while there was tournaments going on, there was also a convention with, like, anime and characters and all of that, and she went dressed up as Harley Quinn, but because she had to get ready, everyone was waiting on us to show up, and by the time she was ready to go, we were like, 20, half an hour late? We, we were half an hour late when we were ordering the taxi. Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. And then I ran up, and then who was it that was about to, to tell me off? And then I held up my hand and was like, don't even start. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, yeah. You said to somebody that, oh yeah, I don't know. I did. Oh, Aileen, yeah, you said Aileen. It was Aileen, yes. I was like, damn, Lee, it's like that. <laughs> damn. <laughs> She had no idea what we, what we had been through, so I was just like, don't even start. Give me my arcade stick. Not that I use one. Well, I can't remember the, arcade, I can't remember the yet team, but whatever. We will ignore that. The um, team? Yeah. <laughs> the running team. The running team for... Yeah, well, every time he's running somewhere. There's always a theme music for him. Oh, oh, okay. We will, we will avoid that for now. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'll tell you later, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um, other than that uh, other tournaments that were there Soul Carver Persona blah 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 uh, uh, Fergus came top 8 in Tekken Tag Tournament 2 that's true fairly yes. impressive by Fergus sneaking his way into top 8 um, Dead or Alive 5 had 2 players and they had a tournament and all so yeah I got beaten by a <laughs> UK <laughs> shuffle in Marvel yeah it was 2-3? No, it was actually 3-1, three, three, I think. Oh, yeah, so for winners and losers for you, you lost to Shuffle, then who? I lost to Mago first. Mago, and then, then I Shuffle. Lost to shuffle. Uh, do you, what were uh, you in the singles? Close. Uh, in AE? Yeah. Yeah, I lost to some guy called Takedo. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember the name of the guy who I lost in uh, in Losers. Yeah. Latno. Yeah, yeah. No, Latno. <laughs> Jeez. Showed up on one occasion and then left back home. Yeah, I can't remember. He was a he was a pretty good blanket. Mm. I can't remember what his name was. So tying up everything, um, we, there's a lot more stories to go into, but we'll have to move on, unfortunately. Um, just going through the A winners and Ultimate Marvel winners, it just went Takedo, who played 3-0 against Gamer B, who also used Yon because of a bad matchup thing with Akuma and Adon. Uh, so in Takedo, Gamer B and Mago for first and second third place, and then Marvel winners were Dominion, White Black, and Moonwalker. Uh, entertaining enough to watch. Fantastic. Damien took it pretty convincingly. I wasn't there. God damn. Yeah. I wasn't able to watch it. Ah! So, clearing that all up. A lot more to it, guys, but just moving on. We're going to take a 5.10 break intermission, and we'll be back to, to go into April then, which yes. will start for us bar fights. <laughs> So, we're moving into April. Um, first thing that happened, no date uh, attached, was bar fights, uh, which I oh, think yeah. was the 12th of April. Was the 12th of April. Sick, yes. Um, nice that, one. So, the way that kind of... How did that develop, Doom? What exactly is bar fights? All right, well, basically, the idea was... I've had the idea for a long time, and other people had said it to me as well, that we do um, something similar to the bar fights that they have occasionally in America, which is you set up a few marquee matches, um, pe you know, it's in the pub, people have a drink, do a bit of a stream, so they're very different from a tournament. It had been communicated to me that, um, that uh, the, uh, oh my God, hmm? the name of them is, I can't remember the name of the pub. You oh, help me. Uh, the wool shed. <clears throat> the wool shed. That's it. That the wool shed bar were amenable to doing this kind of thing, and they had a, spe a, a spare room. So uh, I contacted them, and they were all like, "This sounds awesome. Yeah, we like video games. Let's 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 do this stuff." So um, I was actually I deliberately generally don't run events, and I really don't run events now, and we'll discuss why when we get to May. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but this was my, my one time I said, right, I'm going to do this. This is my baby. And uh, I ran bar fights. And by and large, I've heard off a lot of people that it was either their favorite event in the year or kind of definitely in the top three. So I'm really glad that it panned out. Um, so we had five or six matches on the night. And I did way more promo work for it than usual. It was our first real stream. 
that wasn't like we're sending someone to Evo. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And um, I don't know. It seemed to the night the event when we were in the bar, the matches seemed to pan out just mm. right. Everyone had a lot of fun with them, and um, well, obviously you know, maybe not you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Maybe not you, but there was like like everyone who could come did. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. the the room was heaving. There was a, yeah. there was a really good atmosphere. There was a few. There was even friends of people. Yeah. Who were there? Do you know what I mean? Who just thought it was a cool idea? Let's go and see this. I fucking was. A lot of people mm. were really like, "What the hell's going on?" It was a full mm. house. For Absolutely real? full house. Full like yes. Yeah. And it wasn't too packed. Yeah. People could still get food and sit down and have their pizza. Yeah, yeah. we still yeah. got. We even got a lot of the old players. Like Red came. Um, Red, yeah. Beard and, and all. Terry. Terry, yeah, Terry, the most lovable member. That <laughs> roof is. Oh, so nice. Uh, there, were, there was a couple of people complaining that we didn't have enough setups, but you're in a pub. Yeah, probably the biggest offender of that was um, Teddy and a few of the AE guys were trying to get a mod ready. And as soon as the mod was ready, Nephilim demanded that he have Marvel play to brush up for the tournament. To which he was given a universal no. Why would Nephilim have needed to practice for what he I was I don't know. Like, but... Some people feel like they need to, but you have to understand. I do. That I they certainly would, do. Like, the guys were there for like half an hour trying to get TV to work, and suddenly this dude comes over from a completely different game wanting to practice. It's like, no, go away, go drink, or fucking talk to Lee. <laughs> or something. Um... May well, maybe, like, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't have a problem with, with bar fights happening again. Um... If it oh, does, please. though, I don't want to be the driving force. But someone else can look after the, uh, the heavy lifting with it. Um, but I want it to happen when, like, a bad fight if only 15 people shows up is going to suck. <laughs> do you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, like so, the way so, we, had, we were quite fortunate. Yeah, I had to yeah. do a whole video for it, so I mean... Yeah, you done a trailer, yeah. didn't you? Someone that was a tough. Trailer. I, think, I think that was the biggest video for advertising for you folks that I've done so far and mm. I put plenty of effort into it. I got like, yeah. oh, let's, let's get this and this and this, this. In that video. Mm. and this. Oh yeah, the freaking stream thing that I had so much fun writing down quotes from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody um, read them. They're just like, oh, whatever. It's just a stream tweet job. Um, so... <laughs> and, and like I did the, the, the live action trailer as well with AJ. That was fantastic. Yeah, was right. I'm linking that now. All of them are on the side. Ugh. Just like that. The AJ trailer was fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> so creative. A bit more bit was, though. Yeah. <laughs> all, all you need is is one little thing to to spark a fire like that, you know, and and it, that really worked. And uh, like people love that match between Coco and AJ, but that paled in comparison to the male event. Oh yes. <laughs> the AE main event, which was uh, Fergus versus Ladno. Oh my. It's so is probably to this day for multiple reasons, my favorite video, my favorite tournament video on, on my channel. Because um, not only is the story great, you know, there's, there's the champion and there's the challenger and the challenger, you know, he's disadvantaged by not being practiced and everyone thinks he's going to get bodied. And it goes to the last round in the last fight and he scrapes through and he's the nervous little kid. And you can hear everyone chanting his name. But even the, there's something you can hear... There's like there's some ambience in the room. Like there's it sounds roomy. There's reverb on the voices, if you will, and on the commentary, and it sounds looser, and it sounds like there's this huge room full of people, full of people, which of course there was. And just there's something very different about the Barfly videos to any of the other videos on my channel. I They're love awesome. going back to listen to them. So I just ah, I like, fucking love that place. It was mm. great. It was a very captivating experience. We we definitely should do it again sometime this year, yeah. but I don't want to do it too much because if it stops being special, you know. Yeah, fair enough. I can. I was going to be like, oh, let's do it all the time. But whenever you whenever you talk about it like that, and I didn't even understand that it was you who organized it, mm. as opposed to anyone else that would be normally organizing the tournaments. Mm. But um, whenever it comes to a big thing like that, it it could be definitely just as special, if not more so, than the last time. Yeah. The reason if it kind of the reason it kind of felt to me is that time of year everyone's doing an exams, so the guy yes. out in the real world did it, you know. Yes, I suppose. Mm. So the way it was is that it was basically just we had four or five main events, which involved Coco and AJ, uh, Fergus and Ladno for the main event, Lightero mm -hmm. and Onion. I think was the one. Woo! I think that was the one. You done very well. Yep. 
Yeah, Thank that you. was supposed to be the main good. event. Yeah. Uh, I thought we had the battle over the internet before. It's yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. Keep on going and going and going. And going. I mean, <laughs> really, does it have to keep happening? Oh, there's so much detention. It's not even real. I'm out of my piece. I think it's real for some person. One person. I don't know. Um, uh, Onions totally learned all the tricks that I do. All the fucking habits that I have. And yeah. he was able to capitalize on everything. So unless I actually properly hunkered down and went into the training mode and learned the hell out of Marvel how to play it properly again. Because I think I was a lot better about even a year ago than I am now. <clears throat> and, you know, Onions also, like, improved everything. His rush down is ridiculous. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Wolverine, I have no idea what I'm doing against them, so... I agree 100%. You're right. I was able to go down to Dublin, that would be fun. Uh, and, like, go to more casuals. But until then, uh, it's not going to be... It's not going to be a simple case of me going, Yeah, I think it'd be Onion, Counter, everyone else. Uh, it's fine. Nobody knows how Phoenix Wright works. You all know how Phoenix Wright works. Except for the points where you're, like, complaining about his move sets and why would you do that? And <laughs> objection is an overhead, etc. <laughs> Right. But, um, yeah, no, I got destroyed by Onion, and um, I don't even think I got two matches. Did I get two matches? If oh, it was 5-2. You did win two. It was 5-2. It didn't feel like I won a single one, much like every other tournament beyond that. Mm. But mm. Um, despite that, I thought Bar Fights was fucking awesome. I, I love, I love, you know, I never thought that I would go there to enjoy the spectator part more than anything else. Because it was, it was so well organized, and even the staff were captivated by the amount of energy that was going on in that room. Yeah, they had to be like, what the fuck is going on? There's all these yeah. myriad of lights on the screen, everything's going <laughs> ham. I think it's a rave, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Go on in and find out. Yeah. And then he got yeah. locked in, and he just got absorbed into the whole group. He was um, who, who did, who did, um, oh, and also Ben got his, like, Doctor Doom Infinite TA. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah that was fun. <laughs> it's true, and he seemed to be really happy about that. Mm. So. Uh, only two was... highlights I would have had for it was just Spiderflies hating on me for no reason at all. Oh, yeah, he was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh, that's shit show for you. <laughs> Thank you, that 20 euro for that shit, man. Yeah, that was fantastic. For a guy that plays AE, Spiderflies are pretty bad, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> To be fair, you shouldn't have stood a chance in that. You really no, shouldn't. I really shouldn't have. I was just like, nine yeah. years, huh? Hmm, this is interesting. Yep. <sighs> Get bodied. <laughs> so, that was Bar Fights in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. Commentary for the Ferguson Ladno match, just to pull it down. Holy crap, it was <laughs> so one dimensional. Even the commentators couldn't concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that happened! Oh, Darler's going nuts. He was yeah. loving it. He he what? just reacts so well to hype. It's amazing. Yeah. Was well, it the? How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus, <laughs> buy as much. Everyone wanted Lando to lose so badly, mm-hmm. and he did. Mm. Damn, Fergus. So, so bad fights ultimately was just a perfect storm. Yeah, I think perfect like. shit storm concocted by <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so hype. Well done. The perfect gym store. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. After bar fights, uh, that was the twelfth. Uh, the next event after that was Tempest Twenty. I figured I'd cover any event going on in Ireland that was of relevance. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, Tempest Twenty happened. Uh, I think Cyrus has gone at this stage, so it's kind of a shell of its former self, I believe. Yeah, I think this is its dying days. Oh yeah, well, just, you're saying that now. Wait, till we get down later. Uh, <laughs> Tempest Twenty, easy one. I think. I don't know. They were just talking yeah. about finger foods and the thread and, I don't know, Nephilim got a haircut. I don't really know. The event was pretty <laughs> quiet. Uh, but anyway, down to May. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> just a quick thing. Uh, April yeah. Injustice came out. Yay. Go team. Yeah. We saw the Yes Attorney movie. Oh, yes, we saw the Yes Attorney movie. That was awesome. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Was- that. Possibly the most inspiring thing I ever watched. I walked out of it and I was like, I am now 20 times better at Marvel than, than I was before I walked into there. <laughs> you stole my fucking game, too. I love that so good. Oh, I, I, I give it back, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, you, I tell, totally you tell me. I totally must have. You still have my controller, so. I didn't pill for that. You gave it to me. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, like, it's a hostage situation. You'll get your. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. attorney whenever don't I Don't you worry. Back. I'm sure I've got a gullible fan. 300 quid. I'll sell that pack quick. <laughs> Touched by Maybe. real life arrow. Moving mm. swiftly on to May. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I didn't go to this. Yes. Uh, oh. uh, uh, yeah, so May, 
uh, the fifth, right? So Injustice MK9 tournament on the 11th of May over <sighs> Clockers Cafe, which featured. Well, sorry, MK wasn't there unfortunately. We were meant to have it, but things right happened. Right time. So Street Fighter Four and Injustice first tournament. Uh, yeah. Winners for AE were Ladna Poka, uh, Dreddy, Cobble Cog playing Ryu and Bison. Yeah, who he usually plays Kami, right? He does. Mm-hmm. And then there was yourself, Doctor Doom, as your guile. I don't even remember who bet me. Oh, I think it was Gobblecock. Uh, that was a great event, but... actually. Huh. Yeah, it was, great. <laughs> it was great in some way. Uh, the burgers were cheap. Staff were inexplicably uh, saccharine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> saccharine. Yeah, uh, saccharine. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I always go Ryan. Um, are we are we going to go into this at all? Or? Not. Yes, in a good way. Um. Event was fun to have, and um, what am I trying to get to? Yeah, Kiki got bodied by my Ryu. He's uh, get bodied. <laughs> Damn it, Kiki! For Kiki. Kiki, why don't you just play Adon? Jesus. Damn. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. This is just a big pop off cast now. Sorry. Uh, um, yeah. Not really much to the event actually. Now that I think about it, tournament fun was had. Yeah. Uh, ugly bunny won injustice with a hot girl who's uh, salty about that. I lost horribly. <laughs> Oh yeah, you were. In, was was this the one with the reset, or was that after? It was a one to reset. Yeah, it was okay. me and him. He was a hot girl, obviously, Superman. Then I switched to Batman and lost and got bodied. Um, yeah, yeah. MK guys weren't too down about MK not being hosted there. Uh, it was a new venue we had. We played a tournament there, and yes, all was well. Moving on to June. <laughs> yes, move on to June. Inf- and we never returned. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Damn it, Lee. Uh <laughs> June, uh, casually in Fergus was the name of our next glorious tournament. 1st of June in the Tolka Bar, which was another new venue. And um, the reason just, we were... just to point out, we were ending our relationship with the exchange around now. This is why we're jumping from... from uh... Casually in Fergus. Possibly, yeah. yeah, a highlight of the fucking year for me. <laughs> I remember... Oh, I the, what, this wait, the name or just... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, that was at the Tolka Bar. I was thinking about the other one. Yeah, you're thinking about the... The other in Fergus. Hmm. That was last year. <laughs> the that other was last time year. we were in, in Fergus. If yeah. you're all wondering, and Fergus was started by Fergus, yes, exactly. Inferno, <laughs> Infer- it wasn't. A, yeah, in Fergus, yeah. Yeah, so this is all Fergus doing somewhat. He yeah. does a bit for a guy with the name of it, but yeah, um, great <laughs> event. Uh, we hosted it there because, as Doom said, we changed the relationships with the exchange. Stuff happens, you know. After a time, different conditions are met. So from the 2012, we usually spent our time in exchange. Now we moved on to different venues, and we eventually settled in X3C, which we'll get to later. Um, yeah. Casually in Fergus, uh, it was a good event, good time. Place was eh, not completely spacious, but... Um, that was the first Smash tournament, wasn't it? No, the first Smash tournament was in January, and I was very confused by that. Oh, yeah, the first but big that, one. that was whenever like it made a footprint. Whenever people yeah. came on specifically to play Smash Brothers, and David kind of, or yeah, that idea made a big point of yeah, having because what's it? It's always saying game. Brawl is a better version of Smash than Melee. Or... Well, it is. Like, I mean, that's what we should have been playing, but there was no Brawl copies there, so David was like, "Oh, okay, I guess we'll just play Melee." So we played Melee instead. Not getting involved. <laughs> oh dear, um, fantastic event. Uh, but that's when we brought our new boxes. I hold our equipment as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, we we actually put the Madagascar phone to use. And we got cases for our equipment. It was fantastic. We didn't have to just carry it one by one. And the box is kind of broke, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, moving on from that, that was a fun event. Everyone was there. All two, the two of you were there, right? Mm-hmm. Fun times. Um, didn't you play Street Fighter Puzzle? What? Uh, oh yeah, Doom. Yeah, you were you yeah. were like having fun in the corner playing puzzle. Yeah, I played like maybe three hours of. Of, of Puzzle Fighter and uh, I still love that game I'm terrible at it, it but I love it I, I haven't it. yeah I haven't gotten the meta game down yet so uh, I'm, I'm the Puzzle Fighter equivalent of a guy who just presses buttons <laughs> but, uh, but I'm getting there you know yeah. Puzzle I've, Scrub I, yeah I'm yet to find a charge character hmm. Scrubble you're a Scrubble <laughs> I've never played scrubble it fighter. I can't relate <laughs> um, <laughs> well so that that event uh, went through like it with a no hitch is really involved um DOC 9, June 15th, Day of Who, happened. Day of Who? Yeah. That's what it's down as. That's what the thread was down as, so. Hmm. Why would I. Was that me editing it, or? Maybe. I don't know. It's down as Day of Who, DOC 9. Hmm. 
Yeah, so there's definitely no results for that. I'm not even saying that ever like a lazy thing. <laughs> it maybe really that was, maybe that's why it was called Dev Who. There's no results. Dev Who won? I guess so. Oh, I think it might have been... Was it the one that was on the EVO weekend? So they weren't calling it the champion. It's not much Or something. Wait, wait. Well, no, that was in July. Oh, EVO, EVO happened in July, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't bloody know. <laughs> um, I just know that Tekken was there, and it g gave you an aneurysm or something. I think this is when oh. the commentary kicked in. Yeah, this was... They had like a... You know people go on about this King of Fighters final that I had? Mm -hmm. Where it was 30 minutes, me and Kurt's house, looking it out. They managed to push Tekken to 40 minutes. 40 <laughs> minutes of a final. Yes, you've actually you've posted in the trade yourself and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's, that link is me, isn't it? Yeah, um, you've congratulated uh, everyone. I, I may as well read it out, why not? Congratulations to all the Tekken players who managed to have a 40 minute grand final last night. It was so long, I had to get up and have a break in the middle. Oh, I remember that. I genuinely did, mate. Me Frankly, my arse was killing me. I had to, I had to get up and walk around the room. Have someone else watch the machine. I had a wee chat with a couple of people, and then when I felt a bit better, I went back and sat down and kept on recording. Look at the watch. Well, yeah. time to go back to Tekken. I don't know how you can sit down for forty minutes and watch that. Bass fest. I don't know. Not for me. Uh, GG's guys. Uh, oh, actually, there was one fantastic event I enjoyed thoroughly, which was um, Marvel event, which had. Two hospital patients duking it out. Yeah, didn't we comment on that? Yes, we did, actually. Yes. <laughs> Our commentary is fun. You oh, said fun. Doyler was a paraplegic, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, Which yeah. was very confusing. It's just paraplegic means someone who can't move. <laughs> paraplegic. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't was... paralyzed. I know. Oh dear. At least you didn't say quadriplegic. Yeah, that would have been a bit weird. Yeah. I can at least believe that he's stuck to the chair. So we had Doyler Look, they didn't and... get to see, so they, 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 wouldn't, they wouldn't believe what I said. I just wanted it to be more dramatic than it actually was. <laughs> Jesus. That was a very, very good use of the words. Um, yeah, so Doyler and uh, Onion were having a Marvel match, and the two of them were really struggling just to put combos on, let alone even sit there. They were in, not looking in great shape. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're better now, though, yep. as far as I understand. Anyone that's wondering, yes, they're not on life support anymore. They're doing yep. perfectly fine. <laughs> It was just really weird to watch. Because I don't feel like they shouldn't have been playing in the first place. <laughs> Very committed guys, Onion and Doyler, come mm -hmm. to put on a show, even when they're not well, just to help the scene out. It's pretty cool. I think that was in the exchange, though, wasn't it? That was prob Yeah, I think this was our last event in the exchange. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think we had some type of commitment to um, clean everything up. I don't know. We just had our last event there. Yeah, I don't like. I know the specifics about the last event in the exchange, but I don't know if it's right. For me to uh, talk about it without the explicit permission of the other people involved. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's no problem. Um, so I won't. But let, let's just say that this event put a definitive right. This is the last time we're we're doing it was this. It a swung song to the exchange. Yeah, Pretty which much. we'd had a long and fruitful relationship with. So I don't want to make it out like that or yeah, evil or anything. Fantastic events. First event I attended like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Got bodied by Misty Chaos and told Blinny he was a dick and was the wrong guy. <laughs> By accident. Uh, I apologize. Welcome to the community, Nutrient. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> you talk to that Blin guy, he's a dick. Why I'm Blin. Blin? Oh my god, Blin. Yeah, <laughs> it was an accident. I, didn't mean, I mixed it up. I was talking to someone else. I didn't That's the it. reason why I'm in the fighting games at all. <laughs> awesome. So. Oh. Got hmm. plenty to fucking owe to him. Well, I had a lot to make up for. I committed myself to Marvel after losing to a 13 year old, so I had something to prove. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why I got said to myself, I'm going to get good at Marvel. Dewey bodied me with Tron and some other mess of a team, and I was salty nice. as hell. So I was like, that's it. It's going <laughs> to take as long as it will. I will get amazing at this. I did, yet... but I got good enough. <laughs> and yet, after that, do you like think of some sort of appreciation, or do you still see the three age towards that person? That, that the salt is definitely worn off, but I'm okay now. Although Dewey hasn't come back because he's. He's like 16 now and turned into girls. So He's playing with a different arcade stick at the moment. He turned into girls. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good enough reason not to go to fighting games. Whatever. I just assume he swapped he... arcade sticks. That's all I say, and I move on. Yeah. He does show up in the ARC chat room every now and then. I don't think he's vanished completely. Yeah. Um, we used to have curfew and all for him. Jesus. <laughs> so, right. Fantastic event. Very dramatic commentary mm. as well to be had. Uh, July. Um, this is a bit of no, not as long as it, it was enough going on this month. I'd say it kicked up uh, oh, wow. a few gears since March. Mm -hmm. um, 
So this is Arcade Con 2013, uh, July 5th to the 7th, busy month, uh, not underlined, but um, all the, we see these are the cons that Lee and myself would attend usually, just a typical anime con, but they would traditionally put on a good spread for fighting games and competitions in general, so we mm. usually attend and usually lend a helping hand. Um, so we go to these every year, like Arcade Con's probably a main one I can think of, uh, there's like Non-Con, uh, Quake Con, or Q-Con is another one. And um, mm. you know any other yes. cons, really? I don't know. QCon was fun. Yeah, I didn't go to Arcade Con, but QCon was fun. Yeah. It's not on this list, but it was fun because mm. I won. Yay! <laughs> Goodie. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, yeah. So everyone had a lot of fun. Won a lot of tournaments. Games that were there. Well, they're not all of them were legitimate. I won't say legitimate. Just not all of them are competitive fighting games. Like we have Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm Three, God, uh, Persona Four, Marvel, Injustice. Smash Brothers Brawl, which I think is the good one. Yeah, the better one. Yeah. Um, then there wasn't AE, though, at this event, which... Um, we just there was a at the event in the end. In the end. We you just uh, couldn't yeah. find it. Yeah. <clears throat> just had a bit of a timetable issue with that. Uh, we had that. Ladna Poker probably won it, because he just comes to all the small events and bodies everyone. Yeah. Ladna Poker bet me in the final, even though I wasn't there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, wasn't this the event that had um, your man... What's his name? He does the voice for Raiden. Quentin Flynn, or is that it? Quentin Flynn, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was also a second tournament. Me and Nafael were in the grand final, and we both got DQ'd because we wanted to go watch Quentin Flynn perform <laughs> some awesome acts. So that's right, like, that's right. Yeah. So I was like, Zinkai, we're done. No, you just have to play. I was like, dude, we're done. GG's, no re. And ran downstairs watching Quentin Flynn. No tournament was had, unfortunately, for Strecken. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, Nutrient, but you're a man of epic class. Epic class. Hopefully. Nafiel too. <laughs> <laughs> well, want, man, Quentin Flynn, he's never here. And I missed it before. I think David Hater was at one of the events and we regret it since then. So we're like, no, we're Whoa, not David Hater? I would really care about that. He was at one of them, yeah. Like years ago now. But he was at it before. Yeah. I wanted to meet him. But uh, I think he'd done a video and he'd done some, it was some horrible parody of him like saying, oh, I drank Guinness beer in Ireland. It was kind of really fan service for the event. Oh, kind of one of those awkward things to watch, but great event. Um, yeah, I don't know really much to say about it. It was very anime-ish. Not three associate with the FGC, other than some small tournaments that we take too seriously. So we're <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> moving on. Um, Nintendo stopped SRK from streaming Smash Bros at Evo. Now this is one event in particular that is a little off course, but it was quite relevant to us as we, as any other community in the world, enjoy watching Evo. We even get together to watch it, which I'll come to later. But um, I, I think Lee is definitely the person to talk about this particular thing. Yeah. Oh so, really? Yeah. Did Nintendo stop SRK from streaming? Yeah, there was ne never going to be, you know, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, whatever, or Melee. It wasn't streamed. Uh, yeah, it well, wasn't going was, to be. It was a case of uh, they asked for. Wasn't it a charity for breast cancer? Yep. For everyone to donate money, and whoever voted the most, their money got donated, and the game that won. The vote was Smash Brothers. How much did everyone... they donate again, though? Sorry for cutting you off. Um, I would have to look it up. But... I think it was in the hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Below hundreds of thousands, but oh, the hundreds of thousands. That's amazing. Wow. Like, the Smash community's always been oh, ridiculously supportive towards any campaign. They're just a very generous bunch. Um, I yeah. can't really sum it up. I don't know. There's such... It's it was two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars for oh, breast cancer. God, so much. So after that was done, everyone was really happy. Uh, it was all for a really good cause, and I think it was—I have to mention—I think it was a real case of um, miscommunication because Nintendo did go back on their word on this. Mm -hmm. uh, or sorry, they did—they did say, "Oh, okay." Now that we know all of the details, we'll let it go. And and in the end, Smash Brothers did get to play at Evo, but. At the time, there was a huge uproar because Evo didn't check with Nintendo with the copyright, or uh, they, they didn't get the. I'm looking for the word. Permission. Uh, yeah, permit. There we go. That's yeah. the word. Thank you. Permission. They didn't get permission from Nintendo whether or not they could play Smash Brothers, and <clears throat> usually the default answer is uh, competitive. No, this is why Smash Brothers has its little things like in. Brawl, there's tripping. They like to think that uh, Smash Brothers should not be a competitive 
sport ever because Nintendo does not want their IP to be associated with the likes of uh, fighting games where it's got commentators saying like, oh yeah, Mario ripped that page. They don't want that ever happening. That's the reason. That's the reason why they <laughs> oh, do not want... Yeah. I can see that. That's the, that's the reason because they want it to just be family friendly. And we both know that there's a bit of racy commentary, there's a bit of you know, there's some nasty terms that we find funny, but it's not exactly child friendly. So for that reason, that's why Smash Brothers was just said no, and then everything was explained. There's a huge uproar. Everyone was incredibly pissed off at Nintendo. And Nintendo then eventually says, "Okay, that's pro- that's fine. Have the tournament." And it happened, and it was hilarious because people were watching it. Doyle walked over and pointed at the screen and says, "Is this high uh, high level play?" And it was the finals of Smash Brothers, and one of them just fell off the stage <laughs> <laughs> as he walked over to point at it. So I was like. Phew. They're playing melee. It's not a good game. And why was this such <laughs> a big good. deal? Because was was Smash uh, was it at the last Evo or because this whole event, oh. whole charity was to take up one spot to enter Evo, wasn't it? Yeah, the point was just for it to like be an Evo because Smash, I don't even know if Smash Brothers has ever been an Evo. It could have been a while ago, but it hadn't for quite a while. Mm. And since there's such a huge community that really wants to play Smash Brothers, they really want it to happen. Uh, that's why the donation drive happened. So. I can and that's it, why it was a big deal whenever they cancelled it. Sorry. I can imagine it's the commentary stigma, like from Marvel, say that probably did draw it off as well. I wonder if that does actually just give you know pull some eyes when they watch and go, I don't know, this game is awesome. The guys are making a hype, but it's a little, it's not PG at all, really. Little eighteen plus guys. <laughs> I think it's a little bit less forgiving than that. I don't yeah. even think there's not even a, there's no consideration. It's just no, that's not happening. We want this to go to families and for them to have fun with each other and not have it at a you know, money match competitive level. Money matches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next Smash Brothers. Like, I can't wait for it to happen, but I kind of hope that people don't take it too seriously because, my God, yeah, I want the game, to be it's, it's yeah, it it's great. But that's that's that. That's that in a nutshell. Mm. And uh, everyone, that that was kind of the start of like Nintendo's decline of popularity because there was more issues on down the line. Yeah, they accrued a lot of negativity after that, but mm, and they still are. Mm. So after that uh, debacle, we we had now July was all the events that occurred in July were compressed like within a week. All of this happened in the space of a week, I'd say two weeks mm. maybe. So that was the fifth to the seventh. We had uh, a KCon. Then the, uh, Nintendo's stop of the stream was somewhere between the 7th and the 13th. Uh, we had another tournament, which was DLC 9.5 Burvolution on the 13th of July, and the talk about it again. Uh, a lot more people attended this event. Uh, don't really, I don't even... I think I was at it. Like most of them. I don't remember much of it. Uh, what about yourself, Doom? Um, lad, no bet Doom in the final. <laughs> yeah, uh, what is this? <laughs> genuinely, genuinely. How many, how many tournaments have we asked for AE? Has it always been you and Lad, though? It's, yeah. Well, this year, Steve-O had, like, I've always been Mr. Top 8 in, in, Street, in Street Fighter. Like, is it true? I'm, I'm Mike Ross. Like, I'm always in the low end of Top 8. <laughs> oh. um, this year, um, Steve-O has been very busy and Hound has been busy. Hmm. So, and Cobblecog has to travel so the default then is who from Dublin is going to be Doom or is Doom going to be in the final because mm. <laughs> cause Ladno being in the final is pretty much a foregone at this point so you know it's been me or someone who's beaten me so sometimes Fergus might beat me or you know but 50% of the time it's me mm. <laughs> so, so, so um, oh, wow. I, w- I would guess that come uh Come ultra, this will change as people kind of come back to the scene, you know. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's, I actually think it's a bit of a problem for AE in Ireland at the moment. We need, we need someone to uh, basically we need someone to get better than me. Well, Fergus, how can Fergus play? Like play, Fergus is very affable at the game. Why can't he even play more though? Like, is it just Tekken? And I think another problem for Fergus is that, uh, with all due respect to Fergus, he's a better. He's a better fighting game player than I am. He's probably a better Street Fighter player than I am. Um, I outzone him, and when I do outzone him, he cracks against me. Mm. So, like, it should be Fergus versus Ladno, but it isn't as much as it should be. Shut your face, Vast. <laughs> Doom the impenetrable wall of Sonic Booms. 
But that's it. it, it if, when I'm playing Fergus, it feels like if I just stay calm, I will win. Oh. If I if if I crack, he will win. Like if if I try and fight him, he will win. If I just be Doom, I'll win. Okay, right. So I probably shouldn't how do you say do that. that? <laughs> it's been said. How, how, how do you bring yourself to be like, yes, I will be a scumbag? How do you do do that? Oh man, you're asking the wrong guy. I'll happily explain that. Answer. <laughs> I did, but I mean, like, I want to learn. What? <laughs> I want to learn how to just throw boomerangs all match and not feel bad and just like. Oh, just it's get easy. The, oh man. As the other person literally writhes in his own chair and then oh, stares it's daggers. So easy. Oh, I would say, especially with like, you're the guy playing the weaker team, Lee. If if you've still got these. No offense, but slightly scrubby notions in your head that that there's honor involved here. No, there isn't. Those guys are using do Doom and Morrigan, right? You do you do everything. If you can kick them under the table <laughs> while well. they're playing, do, do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Just I mean, the whole nice appear, like the whole nice egg. That's that's just for sure. That's a shell. Underneath that shell is an angry, pent up, raging, t testosterone-driven guy who just wants to see you cry. Well, maybe that's yeah, just me, let, but I did. let the asshole loose, Lee. Yeah, man. <laughs> like I, I, I will take great pro Like when, when I well, look at my guile, if I see him walking forward and jumping and stuff, I'm going eh. When I look at my guile and I see Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, until the other guy cracks, then I've done right. <laughs> I imagine when I actually watch Cobblecog, for some reason I just find that his mental image is just an angry 360 on like Xbox Live Halo playing kid. In his mind, when he rushes you down, oh, you did it, faggot. Take it right of me. Oh, she died. Yo, you tea bag. Take that. That's what I see when I like watch Cobble Cog. He always has a yeah. very emotional face. Funnily, if if you do play a bit of Street Fighter, you can see when Cobble Cog's in a bad mood. Yeah, and that's what I see. Yeah. I see the teenager of Xbox Live incarnate kicking your ass, which is Jesus. Nice. Damn, it's okay. so fun to watch. I think we're heavily veering from where. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not. We're, we're talking about no, the AE tournaments. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Lee. I don't know. Be better. Come back. I don't know. Just be greedy. I don't know. Be more selfish. Indulgent. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Turn so, your brain off. Just keep talking boomerangs. Do you know what you should do, Lee? Lee, what? you should learn. You should learn Street Fighter, and you should play my guy over and over and over until you realize the only way to beat this guy is to be worse than him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should do that. Why Although like, that, that involves me having to play Street Fighter. Oh, come on. Do, I think we're thinking about this wrong. Do you think Doom's an honourable guy player? Because there's no such yeah. thing. <laughs> there isn't. There is, he's sitting there throwing boomerangs. Boomerang. He's throwing Sonic Booms at you all day. Where's the honour in that? Scumbag. Sonic Boomerangs. Then you get in his range, he'll give you the backhand. And you're like, why? Mm -hmm. Or then you get like back. He, he has some of the best normals in the game once you do get near him. Like, <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. Like, like People tend not to have the advantage on Guile until his back hits the ground, and then the game just flips. 100% oh. in the other guy's favor. But, Probably not. Even, no, even then, he's a four frame reversal. Like, in that case, yeah. then you must be quite happy about this Ultra Edition coming up because you'll have a little bit more of an edge to getting back into the game. Absolutely. I think um, Giles received a huge buff without receiving any of the extra buffs he got. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah, I very much think that Giles is going to be in apps. Maybe not at the very highest levels where people are going to come up with really complex option selects to cover both. Both quick recovery and slow recovery mm -hmm. but yeah. like for most normal people god it's gonna be a nightmare just to pause that though that'll be left for another one because a is gonna be an awesome podcast topic later in the future very okay. gonna i'm gonna be very hopeful for that one that'll be enjoyable mm -hmm. um so we'll move on bear revolution was go crack everyone had a good time Evo all nighter. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of uh, flash kicks and uh, <laughs> this is this is actually incorrect. I didn't do this to the October one. <laughs> is oh, it, is it October? it's the October one I did this at. Okay, I, I I'm, didn't do we'll any property damage during the uh, Evo all nighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, we'll save that for later then. Yeah, I can't but, remember uh, Evo all nighter. But... Which now this was only one day after the Bear Revolution tournament, the fourteenth. Yeah. This is one day after a tournament, the Evil All Nighter. Like, Jesus. It was, a, it was a big weekend for fighting games. Huge. Well, yeah, I was surprised how the people even showed up. And everyone did. Everyone did. People that came yeah. in hungover or not all showed up. Yeah. It, uh, was, uh, it was a great night. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I think we had some set of plans for the night, didn't we? Like, matches or. To be uh, I, was, I did like, some stuff, but. I didn't put any firm plans in face in place, but the original idea was that I would come in, 
and I'd maybe do run a stream, maybe run a Marvel tournament or whatever the majority of people wanted. It wasn't too pushed. I was just going to do what people wanted. When I got there, I was fa effectively, and I'm not complaining about this, it means people care. I was instantly badgered by people to set up a stream where they could watch whatever was on. Like, and it was so early in Evo that I didn't care. It yeah. was like yeah, top 256 from Smash or something. Yeah, it like the the instant I was there, I was there. And like, it was hey, melee too, so it wasn't Brawl. <laughs> so even yeah. you would care even less. Then. It wasn't even a decent one, like. <sighs> but like as I'm saying, I'm not complaining about it. It means people were, were hyped for Evo, <laughs> you know. So um, it took me about half an hour to get a stream actually working because every time I go into XGC, they've changed how their internet works. But uh, but we did, and people got to see their their matches, and I didn't mind. And uh, can I just say, as someone who doesn't play Marvel? That top eight was so hype. Yeah, incredible. Oh, it was so good. I had so much fun. Oh my god. Yeah, mm. yeah that's, that's a typical affair with him. Hype oh, was, oh, I just wanted him to win so bad. Mm. I really did. And um, it's it, it's funny because people who are outside of fighting games, you know, they see Justin Wong as the guy who's there for Daigo to beat. You know, they're still in 2009 yeah, with think Vanilla C4. Yeah. So, like, they don't understand now when I go, no, I've got a lot of time for Justin Wong. What a badass! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, oh, dude. It's, it's, uh, but they kind of you could you could have easily picked up all of that sort of like those vibes whenever the commentators are kind of on his side and everyone yeah. realizes that he's you know the the game has evolved long after fucking you know Wolverine being the be on be all and end all of winning the game that was back uh, in the day. Uh, it's it's well, I mean, like he's a really damn good character at rush time, but whatever. Oh, yeah, comes all right, to, yeah, Captain Boomerang. You've got yeah. you've got freaking mm. zero and zero, or zero and zero. You've got zero and Virgil and Doom, and they they take over the whole game. That's easy to but, say when you're fucking boomerangs from the top of the screen. <laughs> yeah, no, you know I'm right. Okay, Hold no, no, that. no, no. Okay, right. Nutrients is a little bit sad because he plays Hagger, and Wolverine would destroy him. Mm. Actually, no, not really. Okay, well then, what are you complaining about? You're a beautiful Joe. You think you're bloody cool with your boomerangs? Hit me in the Beautiful Joe has no part in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still, I have it right here in the chest, man. It was, it was really, it was fun. It was I a hate fun that character. Uh, I even recorded, uh, who was it? Yeah, whenever Justin Wong got in the karate chat with the Kuba, and then was it, um. <laughs> My audio head, yeah. Who, who, um, in the crowd literally stood up and did the chop? It, I just <laughs> actually did I didn't it. remember hearing about this. It was um, that's someone in the crowd doing a karate chop anyway, right? No, 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 not not in the stream in the XGC. Oh, I have no clue. Oh god, I, can't oh, I don't know. It was an nighter, man. I was out of it at like four a.m. I was completely conked out. Somebody did it. I assume it was Nephilim, and we'll move on. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I know his name. And I'll remember it. Actually, later just on. sorry before we move on, you try to remember that. I'm going to mention how Dollar enroiled the entire brawl scene. Uh, at the oh, all-nighter. Oh, God. So, it was very early in the tournament, like Brian said. Um, Smash came on for a bit. Or was it Brawl? Whatever. Brawl came on. And <laughs> then they played through, like, the, I think it was the top 30, 64, I believe. And mm -hmm. as Nephilim and all your uh, Brawl players were watching, Doyler <laughs> asked one of the top uh, players there, I think he's Nephilim, I think he's the top player, uh, and he says, how's this game competitive? This is just a party game. <laughs> and, uh, it caused a lot of friction for the rest of the night. It was fun. Doyler's always doing that, though. <laughs> Doyler will dig at every exposed weakness of your seed and put it yeah. out for everyone to show. You he better... Seats. <laughs> damn it. <Yeah. laughs> oh, damn it, he's always putting everyone on blast. And it's excellent, and I love it. The it's mentality is fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. Party game. There's nothing wrong with being a party game. No, not at all. But admit it's a party game and let's get on with it, like... He was refusing. Nope. Competitive. Actual. Be oh, better than AE is what set Doyler off. Sorry. He actually set Doyler off. Oh, it's, it's more legit than AE. Was, AE is just random the chess. Game. That was the Mikeyim who... I don't know how I pronounce that What's one. random chess? Mikeyim. Uh, Mikeyim, Doyler and me had to go out and get some food. <laughs> and my god, that was a fun walk. Because I was just walking <laughs> oh, at the back while Doyler and Mikeyim were going at each other's throats <laughs> the whole way over <laughs> to the nearest bar. And I was like, oh, sorry, it's bar. The nearest fucking Sentra. I cut her food and I just ran back. 
I heard about that. I heard there was a commotion stirred in one of the places. Oh my like god. Like everyone started turning heads. People would run to the other side of the road, to the other path, to, to avoid having to walk past us. Jesus. What are you talking about? What do you mean it takes more skill for my game? <laughs> oh, daughter, please. <laughs> It was funny. It's it was good. It was a good laugh. It's comical. I love it. It's excellent. Oh, it always gets me excited. Um, so yeah, Devo and I are fantastic. I think that's the. Is that the night we or the XTC provided uh, food for us? No, again, that's the October one. Awesome. Oh, that food is. Uh, there you go. I really can't remember the All Night. Jesus. Oh. Best host ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> I and I was gonna say everyone says I started the All Night and established it. I helped pave out like the intricacies of it. I guess like the times. <laughs> But it was all John's idea. John's always been very supportive in the background for the scene. Mm. And it always helps. He's always talking about, oh, we should do more and A players should come to events, blah, blah, blah. Let's all do it, have more fun. But yeah, there's always a lot of people like that in the scene have great ideas and we chat about it a lot. Uh, a lot of times it doesn't uh, come out the way we want it, but it's always talked about. Always. It's usually yeah, like, and, you know. and I do moan about people not helping a lot, but, you know, there's a lot of people who do help a lot. Yeah, and you can help in a lot. Of, you don't, it always doesn't have to be action. You can help fairly yeah. anyway at all, but. Yeah, mm. Jones was definitely one of the people that uh, is owed for making the event out the way it was, and it was great. So, good stuff, John. Um, so, we move on to August now. Uh, Word of the Month was Collusion, I believe. <laughs> yeah. After the the fiasco at VXG, was it? Yeah. Oh, VXG, yeah. VXG and started it off, and then there's another tournament later on where they did it again. Just, <laughs> just, just to point out that maybe Chris G was right. He still hasn't been paid for VXG. Uh, that's, yep. VXG payments are still in decline, or not decline, rather. They're still being uh, pending, rather. Yeah, they were meant to be paid months ago, but now there's like a whole contract thing that was sent out to the players to sign it so they get paid at all, but it has to be in 2014. Well, welcome to the beach, folks. Yeah, welcome to the beach. There, there is, there is the thing. Like, I can see both sides to this story, right? Yeah. Right. Sometimes, if sometimes even if you're a really good player, you have an idea that you have character X in your pocket, you pull it out and it doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes that happens. It does happen. It's happened mm -hmm. to everyone. It's happened to me, and I'm not even a good, proper good player. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I reckon DJ's got this match. Nope. <laughs> Go back to Guile. Mm. <laughs> it, it, it does happen, right? <sighs> On the other side, right, if, if, say, I win the lotto tomorrow and I fly in Justin Wong and Dai Minion, I'm not blaming these two people, I'm just picking two people who we've been discussing. Right? Say, I fly them over, I put them up, and I give them seeding in my tournament so they don't meet to winner's final. Right? One beats the other and they go to grand final. And the entire Irish scene is watching to this great event that I've paid to put on. How would I feel? If it was Ryu versus Hakan, <laughs> do you know and, what I mean? I can't wait to see. Just but as you can. say, like who who picked Hakan earlier in, in Evo uh, during the All Nighter? Infiltration. Yeah, that's different. That's different. But but, but how? But like I mean, how do you tell? It has that sort of event has just put a lot of tension whenever people are in the character select screen. Whenever it comes to the top yet. Mm. Like, there, and you know, say somebody wants to try a character. What if it really doesn't work, and it just seems like you really were messing the butt, and it wasn't just a, a kind of, I hope, I hope this works. I think I've got a good idea. Oh dear, no, I didn't. And now the stream's gone. They, like, yeah, the tournament's canceled. I can see that. I mean, it was kind of different for Infiltration's case because he's known to pick a can for matchups that he believes just he could can dominate. Oh, yeah, I, I thought it was just out of the blue because I was like, yeah, yeah no, I'm, for that I'm matchup, that was a. Full on counterpick. Like he'd been known in the past to even pick, counterpick uh, Sigats with Goken, I think it was. And yep. he yeah, he does. And Guile with Goken. Yeah, and that's just, that's another nightmare for Guile. Like there's a lot of matches he does counterpick. Christy, not really known to really do that. I think he picked Yang, was it, for the event? Yeah. Yeah, he picked uh, Yang. And well, I, I can't really remember exactly how it went because I wasn't really enthralled by a play at VXD. Um, but I do know it carried over to another event. Uh, uh, I think it was a, a battle circuit and it just had the whole stream shut down because Sanford and Christie were going to play Collusion was spoken up and then uh, Team Spooky does pull the plug so that tournament went down a uh, bit of a tragic really 
in 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 that case there's the other aspect that um right it's a that was kind of a spooky production yeah uh, yeah and, and that sorry just to, that was the time though that they signed on to mad cats wasn't it yeah yeah just so, as they do it like like that was disrespectful like i mean that was clearly they were taking the piss because the whole collusion thing that happened that was really dis- disrespectful to him because his sponsors had just said we're not supporting anyone who yeah. who does collusion like it, they could have gone to him and they could have said we want to try out some new car you know if it was genuine if it was legit yeah come on like like how much work does spooky put in for the community like i mean spooky puts some work for us <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, he spooky. does though you know does it? yeah like everything he do- does brings people to every other community in the world that's what i mean like yeah. <laughs> like Spooky's probably done more good for the Irish fighting game community than the three of us put together. Than actual the Irish actual Damn. foundation of Ireland. <laughs> if if you look at it that way, it's true. Like, you know yeah. whose stream are we watching on, on at Evo? <laughs> yeah. So like it's really disrespect like but put him in that situation, it's not cool. But again you run into the same problem that like, well maybe they did have pocket characters and they wanted to try them out and you know. Yeah, but there's so many uncertainties. Like, go with the safest option. It's not safe in assuming, ah, oh, they're just going with pocket characters. But, mm-hmm. like, the whole idea, the thing is, though, collusion's probably happening all the time. It's just it's just become relevant now because it happened at a bigger event. This could have been going on for ages, and we didn't mm-hmm. know. Well, like, I mean, it mightn't be a popular opinion, but I don't think there's anything wrong with pot share. No, not really. as long as it doesn't affect the <laughs> entertainment outcome. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with it, but if it affects my experience, not cool. Not cool. The, yeah, like, the people who paid for that pot. Are the people who are watching the final? Yeah, I highly, you know, I was, so give them the thing. final, like you know. I highly anticipate match gone down to flames because you want to take the piss. Hell no, you have an obligation to entertain me. Well, you do. Yeah, I, I mean, it sounds a bit selfish, but up. to a degree, if I've been sitting down for three hours watching this for the build up and the build up falls flat, I'm gonna be upset. Mm-hmm. So, I don't even think it should be a matter of obligation. I don't really know much about whether or not it's right or wrong, but surely there should be some sort of like, yeah, I got first place. Mm. Well, like sort of, you, you know, they're, 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 there's something to still fight for, even if they have spot, uh, pot split. They yeah, can have their name I mean, on. Like the know, fact is, just, it's just an issue of them being lazy. It was just a disrespect, but it's not an immensely big issue, really. But for Spooky in particular, an issue. So, mm-hmm. yeah. moving on from that, that's collusion. Word of the months, fucking months, rather. May I never return. Nah, mm. I know, I like a bit of collusion too. Got a little icon on Twitch and everything, little handshake. That's oh, lovely. Uh, DLC 10, two years in the making, 10th of August at the Exchange again. So not exactly our swan song yet. This is probably it. Oh, this would this would be the one then. Yeah. Yeah. So, geez, so many of these DLCs. I've lost track. They've lost their luster. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which ones were the awesome ones or not. Maybe they all were. Uh, so this had Brawl, Marvel, A, and Injustice at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, two years in the making. Uh, could refer some knowledge on that. I'm not 100 percent sure on what he means. Is he just talking about like the 10th anniversary or? Yeah, the 10th anniversary, like the 10th doc. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, the usual real format. Blah blah blah. No white tracksuits, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we had a little member to the scene, Superchar. Uh, some 13-year-old oh, yes. kid coming on in. Playing some Hang games. on a sec. I won this. I win tournaments. <laughs> what? You didn't win. Shut up. Did you? Do you, do you, you won test, some you? quote unquote some comic game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. Get I that one, and then Nutrient came next, and uh, Ben to Jen and Doyler. Oh, that's when I played Virgil against Ben, and he lost his shit. Oh, I remember that. He got mad salty. I for a good reason though. I wasn't. Oh, this is when I like stopped playing for ages. And I was just like, "Hey, Ben, hold this Helmbreaker." Bobbed. <laughs> Can I just point out, point out with the AE tournaments? Yeah. Right, uh, I didn't get to the final in this one. Whoa. It was Whoa. Cobblecog versus Ladno. That oh. was a really fun final. But Cobblecog got a bit salty. And there is a post from Ladno that I'd like to read out. Sure. That's okay. <clears throat> Great day. Thanks a lot to the organizers. Pro tip for Cobblecog. You're playing Street Fighter. There are counter picks, cheap shit, and bullshit. Deal with it. Yeah. Oh. There is no need for insults, negative comments, or laughing at your opponent during the match when he drops a combo. Just quietly accept your defeat, shake hands, and walk away. Damn. Whoa! Oh pew, 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 pew. <laughs> that was uh, some heavy words. A lot of, a lot of honesty from Ladno in there. 
Well, you know, he's the professional Russian. <laughs> yeah. If he dies, he dies. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So, a heated grand final 3A. Who needs to watch Coronation Street? Jesus. What? Sorry, I suppose you, you folks would watch it. Oh, for being very well accommodated, Coronation Street. Is that on that TV thing? Yeah, <laughs> that, that TV thing. There's like a oh, picture oh. of uh, like a phoenix right eating a sandwich. What's going on? Uh, it was not like I had to get there. And it was... got a controller in the basket. No, did you you well photoshopped the crap out of this? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> you got like a 360 pad and a copy of Marvel on his back. <laughs> yeah, people were like complaining about how they had to go so far. And I was like, oh, really? Come on. The, the fact that it was going to be early in the morning and I'd have to get up at whatever ridiculous time. Uh, catch buses, trains, taxis just to get there on time. In fact, that was uh, that was really weird because two folks walked up to me while I was waiting on the on the train in the train station and said, "Excuse me, are you like there?" I no, I no, like, I don't what? believe it. No, 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 well, they were going to the tournament as well, so that's that's what they knew. <laughs> but uh, the the initial sort of like emotion was, "What? This has gone too far. This is too close to home. This should not be happening." <laughs> that was where is this thing? Where is this image I'm trying to find? Uh, it's somewhere. You'll find it yourself. Uh, definitely a phrase that the, the whole entire bloody year was. Is he, well, there it is. There it is. Like there, I just keep hearing yeah. that. Yeah, it. Was real like there, <laughs> he, said, he said to better suit the Northern card, we might be running NBC as our first tournament of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, sure, because no one from the North does Marvel vs. Capcom 3. No Northern right. players? Say, Lee, aren't you a Northern player who's running late? Huh. <laughs> It's as though we hey. done it on purpose. Oh, I remember this day I nearly I nearly lost my head. No one's fault or anything. Nearly lost my head. I must have gotten fifteen phone calls Ooh. from different people asking me to register them. This is what inspired Whoa. me nutrient to ask you to write that sign. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what sign? Uh, unfair accusation. I, 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 he basically wrote a sign saying Doom is not running this tournament. Doom is trying to set up a recording oh, setup. Yes. <laughs> if you're gonna sign up, go to the booth and do it yourself. Just geez. I didn't ask you to sign me up. I just was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not. Well, explaining look, you're you, a pretty wholesome just... dude. I don't mind signing up someone with. That's not a bane in my ass. However, there's people that I dislike with a passion. Ah, that's not true. There's people mm -hmm. that just give me hassle. Then ask me to sign them up. It's like me and, knocking over and your. Actually, I don't mind people ringing me either. It was just a day when it happened. Just. Like I it's looked down at my phone and there was five missed calls, like at one point. And they're like, "What lads? Come on, give me a break!" Yeah, <laughs> the lads. <laughs> they, oh God, this always brings me back to Cyrus and his comments of bringing gear, but it's kind of a similar issue, isn't it? Really, don't bring your own gear. You're not even going to bring your own hand over to the desk to sign up for the tournament. <laughs> Jesus. Nutrient, I'm going to specifically request that you link that Phoenix Wright image that I spent about an hour photoshopping in the that. description. I probably already did. Who knows? Yes. The future's mysterious. Um, oh, but we do have all the listings of winners and whatnot. So Lee won a. Oh, I'm first runner up. Damn, I lost. And then Ben, salty Ben. GG's Ben. Uh, oh my god, poor Ben. Oh, I, I remember that. I remember when it all just fell apart. And just, uh, I keep going back to it because I was scared of Ben. Then he wouldn't even look me in the eye or shake my hand. He, oh man, he just walked away. It's so disrespectful. Damn. <sighs> he just needed a bit, a bit of time to stop himself from killing you. Yeah. Well, uh, he's. He did it because he's a good friend. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just honestly, I just think Ben's team setup is very restrained. I think he just needs to pick a cheaper team and get up leveled with it. I guess I don't know. His team's not cheap enough. That's all I'm gonna say. And for Marvel, you don't have a cheap team. You know, that's how it is. Yeah, Smash Bros. is at this one as well. Yeah, this is where Gory, who's surprisingly a very, uh, he's a fantastic brawl player apparently, which is shocking. I didn't know we're this. Playing, we're still playing Millie. We were playing brawl. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that. What? What? Hmm. Interesting. This is like so surprising because I know the main guy that's like the the Smash uh, leader is like Dead Eye Dave, who would mm -hmm. usually he's been running all these events from uh, January up to now. Mm -hmm. Um, these were pretty well handled tournaments. Uh, I won Justice uh, S for sixteen. Yeah, so Lando and Cobblecock had their little A bash, which was fantastic. Um, good stuff. Yeah, good event. So, moving on from that event, we go on to NomCon August 30th to September 1st. Uh, I don't think you're at this. Huh? I was. Yeah, you, oh, you were there. Absolutely. Very supportive of the cons. Um, do they all, is it only ArcadeCon that calls you out, or did NomCon also uh, approach you? Or is this just ErdaCon itself? Which events actually call you out to stream and whatnot? 
Uh, or do any? I'm probably inferring a lot of things here. Um, ArcadeCon asked me a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. If they asked me again, I'd do it. Yeah. I just haven't been asked. Okay. Um, uh, Nomcom didn't ask me, but when I showed up, everyone got excited because they assumed I'd bring... <laughs> 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 record uh, you know that huge case they just assumed oh, Doom here you'll bring that no that's not the way it works yeah. but I've been talking to them and I'll probably be recording this year in the year coming oh awesome um, so that's cool and uh, like there's also seems to be this myth that you know I'll always prioritize AE and I'm sure as you both know that's that's not true I'll just prioritize whatever people really want prioritized you know yeah um, and uh, Erticon always, it's Erticon always get in contact with me, um, with plenty of time. Dominicon do as well, and um, there's one out in the UCD. The name escapes me as well. They often contact me, but they seem to have a habit of contacting me for weekends. I'm in Germany working, so <laughs> huh. um, um, it, there's also it, we're gonna start running into this kind of con fatigue as well. Where at this point there's so many of them that you know there is a lot. Oh, there is there's yeah. a yeah. lot like of conventions. Like seven, maybe eight a year. Jesus, yeah. I can only handle two a year. Yeah, and even mm -hmm. that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like Nomcom, I definitely, I like I go to a lot of these cons, and I've been going for a long, long time since about '98 to cons, on and off, and uh, <clears throat> like there's a really good vibe in Nomcom. There's a really good vibe in Ericon too. So I'd, I'd be very happy to uh, to. to give them a hand, you know, and give them some memories yeah. and some advertising. <laughs> so. um, I think Nomcon and just like Arcade Con itself, they were both held in the same venue, I think. I could be wrong, though. But, uh, yeah, they were. Where was yeah, it? they were. Ballsbridge? The um, D4 Hotels, they were called for a while, but they might be now called the Ballsbridge Hotel. Okay, right. Hmm. Maybe, I don't, can't remember exactly if the Nomcon one was held there, though. But anyway, it was. It was, but, it was yeah. in the same room and everything. Oh, jeez. My memory's <laughs> yeah. terrible. Alright, uh, specific. Yeah, so I came second to Fergus. Oh, I, I remember something big about that event, actually. There was also a <laughs> Remy cosplayer there. Oh, yeah, that's where the photo of me shaking hands with the Remy. <laughs> <laughs> the <hell? laughs> and oh. you know what? He knows who I am. I went oh. to play him, and we were, oh, you're doing that girl player. What? <laughs> Remy knows uh, who I am. <laughs> and you were so disrespectful to Remy in the past years. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I still told him as we was shaking his hand. He's like, sorry, I'm famous for hating Remy. That's why I'm um, <laughs> like, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I hate myself too. Oh, well, of course. He's in character then. Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, lovely little event. Same as usual. Very anime focused. Bit of fine games in there. Good crack had by all. Um, then we had... Mm, I'm not, I have no real uh, reference or experience to this event, which was Nerd Alert in Galway. Uh, I was at it as well, so so um. Ooh, that's a far track. Yeah, well, I happen to be down. My girlfriend's from from Galway, so um, there's going to be some synergy when I happen to be down there when the lads are doing an event the odd time. Uh, um, I came third. I got beaten by Goken and Gook <laughs> playing Goken, and uh, he bodied me. He really bodied me. Really? I need, yeah. I need practice that matchup. I was really proud because I got a reaction Sonic Hurricane against the Hadoken. Ooh. Like, it's difficult to reaction Hadoken. That was, like, the highlight of the fight. So, uh, it's... You know, when you play a character who outzones 98% of the cast, you've got to accept there's going to be uh, one who outzones you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I would love to get, like, a really long set in with Goop, though. I, I reckon I could figure some stuff out. Because... Uh, I, I would Marvel might be different for you lads but for me with Street Fighter and I know Steve over agrees with me who also plays a very kind of niche character the measure of how you play is how you react to your bad matchups <laughs> yeah I can see so it. like I'm, I'm I'm pretty proud of how I can play Akumas and, and I'm I'm pretty happy with my Viper game these days but Gooken is one I need to learn but anyway so yeah the lads from Cork came first and second it was Gook it was Gook and uh, Silver Steeds Silver Steeds came first and second and I was third, and there was some really, really, really big hype at this match. It's in a craft brewery, mm -hmm. the place where they have it, and they have a room all to themselves. And uh, I have to say, I was so impressed by the. I was impressed by the lads. I was impressed by how Jimmy ran the event. 
I was impressed by how hype they were and how up they were for it. And like my girlfriend was picking me up from there as I was leaving. Everyone was going, bye, Brian. <laughs> as I was leaving, Say bye she was like, friends. yeah, yeah. And she was there like, what have you been doing in there? <laughs> oh, she doesn't know. Like, well, no, she kn- she knows what I was doing in there, but she also knew there was no one who really knew me in there, if you, okay. if you get me. So um, when when I was leaving, everyone was, bye, at the door. She's like, what the hell? <laughs> so, uh, Don't be but here. it was a great event, and um, the Galway lads always come up to see us, so I hope one or two of us can always get down to their events too. I think it's only fair. Oh, that's awesome. So, You'd be better off playing Goki's Gogan as well. I might ask. I have no clue what's going on. He might, yeah. jump, he might jump. Hold on. Oh no, he's not jumping. Oh, fuck. Part of me was saying it's as, like he's beating you by outzoning you. Why don't you just play Goku? Hmm. <laughs> and then I was like, hmm, I might actually consider that. But you know, even if I do that, it's not like I can bust it out in the next two months. Yeah, like I have to. Hmm. Maybe. So hmm. serious training montage. Seems like Go. the event went pretty good. I oh, that was great. It's great. Can't say good enough good things about it. Hmm. Well, it's good to hear awesome. stuff other than like Dublin, because um, I I'm sure there's a couple more events outside of Dublin, but it's usually Cork and Galway. And since mm-hmm. the north is disbanded, not much, nothing's going on up the north except the players mm-hmm. are coming to us. So please. Yeah, I, I really wish, I wish something would happen up there. Like 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 you both know in the past, I'm perfectly happy to go record all day long oh, yeah, if I have yeah, to. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so I, I really wish. Anyway. Lee, it's off to you. The onus is on you to redevelop the northern scene. Good luck. Yeah, go, go find Liquid Sword. He will lead you the way. If I get, if I get freaking fired for my job, I'll be like, right, okay, I know what I do. I know my calling. <laughs> the next team's poopy. I'll happily whistle out the door. Going, I know what my next objective is. Then you're just competing with Doom's channel, and it's a big problem then. Dun, 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 dun. Be bad. <laughs> it's a collaboration of sorts. There's, there's, there's no competing. Mm. So moving True off that. from um, August, we're going into September. So we're going on to Q4 now of the entire year. Very oh, close to stage there. five. So close. He's there. I can feel it. Um, so September had Inferno Rises. Hadn't had an Inferno in all year. We had an Invergus, but no Inferno. Um, <laughs> Inferno Rises on the 7th of September in the XPC. Now we've, at this stage, we've officially moved to the XPC. Like they're holding our gear. We have agreements with them. We take up half the room and wreck it for the codheads or whatever well everyone else is there on the second floor um we had marvel ae ae teams ieg injustice and i don't think ae teams happened there wasn't enough like when ae was finished keep some people left and there would have been like four teams okay so yeah. right and then we just had casual so it was kind of a so it was a bit of boat really it was kind of a laid back tournament to say really not to say it was I, the first yeah. the first of my regular streams oh yeah that's after we yeah. figured out the well, after the manager figured out how his internet works in his own internet cafe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So once we got that set, love, uh, uh, pretty, I think it was a pretty lukewarm event. Uh, pretty laid back, like I said, like casuals had. Um, I think we'd done our usual thing, ended at 8 or 9 o'clock, went out for drinks. Yeah. Not, mm, not much to say in it. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we had sun, Sunday the 15th of September with Invasion. Oh, this is actually where I went out to Galway, sorry. Oh, is it? What the hell was the last event? It was just their weekly. Oh, okay. Oh, screw that. Uh, so, right. We already covered that event, so that September cleared up. Uh, moving on to October, we had the Fight Fest poll, which was occurring on October 12th in the XPC. Did that this, occur? Yes. This is, Fight Fest is uh, the Flash Kick incident. Oh, <laughs> right. Yep, there we go. Mm. Uh, so there was this wonderful window in the XGC. Uh, there's uh, wonderful, everyone yeah, hang on. There's, a, there's a stairway that goes from the bottom floor to the top floor, and on the way, there's a halfway break. There's a small landing, and there's a there's a window there that was propped open by an Xbox disc, as our uh, Xbox disc <laughs> case, as far as I remember. <laughs> and and not a disc alone. It was unseasonably hot. It was pretty damn warm. Yeah. yeah. For fucking for October, yes, yeah. absolutely. We've had one of the worst summers. Well, I mean, I say worst. One of the hottest summers ever over in Ireland this year. And um, I, yeah, I wasn't there. I can't say exactly what happened. Do yeah. I, I can just about remember. Yeah, well, uh, I, I think I got summer. a good view on it a bit somewhat myself. Um, when the event happened on the landing, when someone uh, was trying to open the window, uh, doing himself, 
I tried to remove the case, remove it, on this heavy-duty window. The sound could only be described as a sink being pulled out of a wall. It was this loud. Um, the but it was crash. also followed by a flash kick! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we believe. So, um, window uh, comes unhitched off the wall and crashes down. A few of us rush down out, and there's Brian standing there, completely innocent, hands up, not knowing what's going on. At an event... To be, to be fair, it looked like the window slid up, yeah, right? It and the window was just this one massive pane of glass. Huge. And what people didn't see was there was about a 15... Well, it felt like about 15 seconds of me. My hands were right at the bottom of this pane of glass, and I was desperately trying to, you know, leverage it back into place. Mm. And it was just... It was just too much, and I just I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't push it back. Like, but really? I was, well, how, yeah. Were you struggling with it for that long? Well, well, if I don't think it was that long, but when you've got a pane of glass about to smash in your head, it it, could <laughs> it feels been, like I, it's yeah. a long time, you know. I suppose so, man. You should have said, "Assist me." Assist <laughs> Get me. To go in there, run down. <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's terrible. Like, that's awful. I was insanely lucky though, like I didn't yeah. get a single scratch and, and like it was literally like there was a circle around me where none of the glass yeah, went. That was all missed you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was just glass everywhere then on the landing, like hmm. oh my god. The longest, we were pretty fucking concerned whenever The longest delayed as well, but you just saw it came out. It was really delayed. Are you okay? Because mm. <laughs> it's very just like, hmm. Jesus. Because the crash was so loud. I swear a car crashed into the building. Yeah, it was ridiculous. One of the loudest noises I've ever heard. Yeah. So, I'm glad yeah. that the people running the show weren't really angry. At oh, they, they came up and they were kind of like, oops. Yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have propped it up with a... Like, Probably yeah. should have kept it like working. Yeah, yeah, like it was so hot in there. You've no idea. Like anyone yeah. would have opened that window walking by. It was roasting. If there's at least anything five... that... Sorry, go on ahead. At least five people actually said thank you to me. <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah. It was like much better. Because he's fine yeah. and, you know, couldn't... May have not thrown out that way for someone else. Even if you did get killed, it wouldn't have been in vain. Doom, <laughs> Doom had that. He had a. He had that like team Doomy look. Just everything repelled from him. Yeah. Window mist. A big footprint in the roof as well. So. Repulsor. <laughs> Doom just works well with projectile glass. You know? yeah, that's it. Like yeah. Cause... Projectiles don't come from me. They go away and attack other people. <laughs> <laughs> attack the landing. <laughs> uh, uh, we just go straight to that because Five Fest was also really. It was again an all nighter. Uh, long yeah, event. Fun. Really, Whatever. Also ordered in food, which was interesting because XTC kind of they offered it heavily to us, so we got like God, maybe fifty pounds of like chicken and rice <clears> noodles <throat> just combined into these little oh, paperweight geez. boxes. And Jesus, the chicken was like I think left I need to be desired. I swear we were eating dog or something. It was manky. I was like eating chunked up cardboard. But Dyler was loving it and Tom was loving it even more because he was living Dyler the life of a student. It. Ah, he did, kind of. He didn't. He was like, fuck that, I'm off to go get some proper food. This is when he still had that heart condition as well. So we were like, here, eat this weird, funky-looking food. No, he did, Your heart will be know. fine. I thought no. it was nice. Yeah, it was <laughs> I, fab. I had it. It was edible. It was, mm, it was just one piece of, like, ugh. No, I don't know. You guys are... <clears> if we do it again, we'll go somewhere else. Please. Uh, no, the place is great. Just not, I'm not eating that food again. <laughs> Please. Sorry, no. Whenever I say, food, what I mean is, next time, go somewhere else for, for the food. Not next time, we'll get Indian. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a bit of Indian, that'd be nice. The SGC yes, works pretty, pretty well, though. Oh, as yeah. A, I mean, a... I'd like if they kind of, you know, cleared it up a little. I mean, there's like 10, 12 spare monitors that they're just never used. Uh, oh, my God. But, I mean, is I... this not sort of the... Yeah, sorry, Doom. You probably know uh, what I'm going to say. I think they kind of are trying to, like, they've replaced, they've replaced one of the Xbox screens or one of the Sony screens, and they've cleared off, like, there's a kind of a... What I'm hoping is, is supposed to be used as an admin area for us now. Like Ooh, there's a, a table yeah. about halfway through the, the venue, like. Yeah. But nutrients there much more than me. He'd have his finger on the pulse way more than I would with well, these kind of things. They they put a phone shop in the first floor, so. Yeah. That's definitely a step towards doing my man. You know, I can't stand it. Oh, my mind is done in phone shop in the way. Every time I walk in the door, I hit my knee off into like forgiveness. I'm like, I hate this place. This phone <laughs> shop keeps hitting me in the knee. This is the worst. Um. Hopefully. But I love doing tournaments there, though. It's so much easier. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, the main guy in the XTC, Felix, is pretty cool. It's very uh, good. They have streamable internet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's a big, that's a big deal. They're not mm. getting Xboxes and PS4s in, though, which is me coming into November right now. Yeah. <laughs> PS4 and Xbox are released. Huh? 
They were, so they're not going to get any PS4s and Xbox Ones? No, not for now. Not really soon. Maybe never. Seriously. There's so many good games for... Oh, never mind. I okay. know we kind of segue horribly <laughs> off Five Fest, but yeah, Five Fest, awesome, great, weird food. No November. There's not much to say about it other than food. Yeah, October's pretty quiet. Yeah, mm-hmm. Usually is, I think. Um, stupid phone shop. Um, yeah, November, two consoles released to no one's amazement. Um, they're both pretty launched tightly. They're pretty much paid alpha machines, really. Yeah. I look forward to an early we get plenty of games put in and the other two will be lagging behind and I'll be having fun with my Xbox or sorry <laughs> having fun with my Wii U well I'm having fun with my Xbox One Killer Instinct man it's fun Killer Instinct is fun yeah better than, it's better than Injustice I mean I still like playing that game but Chaos absolutely is more fun than whoa 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 <laughs> hang on don't you talk <laughs> crap on Superman dude 423 oh, man through the camera <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble is more fun than fucking Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, you feel I do good. think um, like the start of next year is going to be difficult for the for like as more and more people move to PS4 and, X- and Xbox One, people are going to stop practicing the 360 and PS3 games. Yeah, this looks like so. It's going to it's gonna, if this is the next six months is going to be a difficult period for for fighting games until the new iterations start. Yeah, it's Ultra. Not yeah, it's Ultra not coming next gen though. I was gonna say the same thing as Lee. What, what was... Nothing confirmed. Oh, that's kind of troubling. Not even yeah, as like yeah. an arcade game or something. I don't know. No, an arcade game there is coming, out, but like I don't know if I'm gonna. No, like, but I'm just there's... wondering if they release it as a format of an arcade game just to put onto the systems. I mean, conveniently, because I mean it's gonna be a pain next gen and then current gen. A being oh, on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How the hell is that? I re- I really want them to announce it for next gen, but there's nothing so far. It's gonna be such a pain for tournaments. There's gonna to be like ten yeah. PS4s and Xbox and be like, oh, yep. let's play. E. Oh, who's got an Xbox 360? No. Zoom. Do you know whenever the PS4 is gonna change their uh, copyright protect oh, HDMI system? No, but they said it's coming. Oh. Nutrient, so- you freaking give me the heads up <clears throat> about how uh, copyright protection is coming for the Xbox. Or it it, it activates on the Xbox One. If you install the Blu-ray app, yeah. yeah. Uh, currently, is that, is that really true? This is a current issue on the Xbox One. If you probably, it's the same on the PS4, and I'll tell you why. There's an Xbox app where the name of it is Blu-ray app, I believe. Once that's installed, it enables HDCP, which prevents you from streaming or basically extracting images off your TV conveniently without uh, a certain device purchased from Amazon, which Doom knows full well the intricacies oh, yes. of streaming on a PS3 for example, so if you install the app, you're not going to be using your Hapage on your Xbox One without a separate device to change the stripper. signal a stripper, stripper yeah. HDCP stripper, so you're going to need a stripper to do it on an Xbox One, so if you just keep the app off um, I don't know if installing the app ever I don't know if you can install it and uninstall it and it gets rid of it, I haven't a clue if you can just do that, but yeah, yeah don't turn your Xbox One into a Blu-ray player if you are a streamer, just yet. My little brother did. I, mean, uh, I, I told him, he was like, I already did, it's the first thing I did. It's okay, I'm just sure refer him to that. Doom and Doom will help him, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a box Actually, full of strippers, take all of them. <laughs> Last time I checked, that wasn't available on Amazon. Doom probably got... The, the how many things I, have you got? It was, <laughs> all, it was all sold out. There's, there's always ways and means. I have a device that will convert a HDMI signal to a component signal. Jesus Christ. You can just, you yeah. can just plug it in that way. Um, That's why I also, love the Elgato, though. If, if you really want me to, I can link you to, to a dodgy Chinese box that claims it does the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, in the defense of the makers of the consoles, they clearly want people making videos. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I do think they're going to deactivate this. Both of them are going to figure out a way around this. Yeah, because I remember okay. the PS3, they said, oh, we literally can't take it out, we built it in. Oh, uh, that, that reminds me of the last podcast that you had, where you had that idea about having some sort of, like, uh, merging of all the different sides that are arguing about it. To have some sort of, like, thing organized so that the players, the developers, and uh, it, 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 this brings in YouTube and everything, but it was actually a good idea, I thought, that everyone gets a share of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, I think, I mean, you and I are both in the same position here and we're saying yeah I'd be perfectly happy for Capcom to get you know I wouldn't care absolutely yeah, I wouldn't care at all I think I'd be happy to know that I'm safe to put my content <laughs> exactly. up as long as they and I'd be happy to know that I'm probably paying to Street Fighter's continued existence 
every time I put up an SF video and marvels every time I put up. A, That'd be awesome, you know? man. You could say, I'm keeping mind. Street Fighter alive. Yeah. yeah. With my it's, tempers. It's less hassle. Yeah. Mm. That'd be great. So, yeah, and it eliminates the hassle because it's all legal, you know? Yeah. Because when it's made, I mean, PS4's got a share button. I mean, if that's not an invitation to output video, I don't know what is. A share button. Yeah. Like, come on. Oh, and before we get on track, I do have to say on my defense, you did mention about me using music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, man, you were very frugal with your music. What's up with that? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're going to do a sit you might as well fucking do it right. You, you are. All the music. Yeah, you all see? the music that I use is all video game music. Yeah, so how do you get away with that? How, what the hell? Well, whenever you agree, or sorry, whenever you start uploading videos of a video game, you're agreeing that you can upload it without the music, without the audio. Okay. That's in the contract. You're supposed to be uploading it without the actual audio of mm. the video game. So you're so just using other video games. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, as in like, but we do that anyway. Everyone does that anyway. I don't. It's not my it's contract. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, Seriously, it, was a, it's not... it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. Okay. Or sorry, well, not necessarily with my partnership one. It's whenever oh, it goes okay. to the whole over blanket sort of like, oh, so you want to upload YouTube videos? It's not necessarily with your partnership, but they oh, say okay. like, uh, Microsoft agrees that you know you can upload the uh, Xbox footage of the game, but whenever it comes to the audio, it's you know they kind of leave it as ambiguous as possible, so they're not going to be put for blame for letting all the people upload. Mm. Music for video games that have been used in albums and whatever. But whenever it comes to that, it's like, just use any video game music. It doesn't make a difference. Okay. There's been the odd time where there's maybe like, you know, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? That mm. would be, that would have music that's actually sold as a separate album. And that would be like, you can't use this. And I'd be like, okay, oh. I'll just, I'll take the video down and I'll be put in Fair different. Enough. And I've never heard any like complaints since. So. All right. I, I figured it was just another reason to make the videos a little bit more, you know, dynamic or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nebulous, uh, even uh, video footage just get pulled up. Um, on this topic, before we move on to yeah. whatever, because it did happen this year, but oh, at shit. this point, I think what's really hurting everyone is the lack of communication between all the parties. Absolutely. You know, some Something needs to start getting nailed out. Like, I know you've got a different partner to me, my partner's doing their best, but at the end of the day, they can say, well, what we think you need to do is X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Mine doesn't talk to me anymore. They don't, they have, they're, they're completely out of loss. Mm -hmm. it's, time, it's time we jump ship, Doom. We should make our own partnership. That's it. The litter Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Needs work. Rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Doomero. Uh, Doomero. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You go with that. Hmm. Or just no, I agree. It's it's really up in the air. Something's gonna something's gonna happen. Yeah, it has to. Uh, has motion to. happens. Do, 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 do YouTube. I do hope that it's your solution because that would be great. But I, I can't see it coming. Yeah. No. Well, if Gutax no, and Mike Ross can't make it work, no one is. But my <laughs> solution. My solution relies on everyone acting like adults. Yeah, basically. And let's be fair. Whenever it comes to the developers that really love their IPs, they'll point them. There is no negotiations at all. That's it's just not going to happen. No. So moving off that, we're going to go into uh, yeah, so yeah, something lighter, more fun. Um, Dominicon 2013, which is on November 16th. That was uh, a fun old day, wasn't it? I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> I was the only one there. It was a fun <laughs> old day. <laughs> yeah, I was at the one before that. Uh, that was. Uh, I don't know anything about this. I know Marvel and a Tekken and Brawl were there. Uh, I think this is this is the one where AJ bet me, and I had to listen to him for about a month. Oh, what? But you live with him. You the I know. you live with the Ryu. Oh no. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> endless so it was. But yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. I missed it now. Give, give <laughs> us a sign bite from from the many conversations. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I've blanked them off in my mind now. Really? <laughs> oh, AJ, there's no love here. AJ, please. Damn. Uh, I'm sure he'll show up with some examples. Uh, yes. Uh, the only thing That's I know. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, this is the one with that failure of a UMVC tournament. <gasps> oh, yeah, Tom won it. That's the failure. Is that, is that what you're better? trying to say, Doom? The failure was Tom winning. I agree. 100%. Tom didn't win the Minicon. D wait, what? Did he not? He wasn't there. Oh. The final was Bento Sento versus Daniel from Galway. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Well, then, he sure well, wasn't the air. Air to concert? No, he wasn't at that either. No, he wasn't at that either. So has Tom? Well, then, okay. He won something. 
he did. <laughs> he uh, won that attending. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the only winning We're all winners. Versus Capcom 3 is to not play the game. The only guys that lost were Bento and... Uh... <laughs> Jesus. So, that's... I mean, no disrespect to the guys, but... Eh. I don't yeah. know. I would have liked to win it. To get a point, I guess. Mm. Yeah, you get a point. So yes. Cheap drink. Yeah. Yeah, moving on. Um, Erdogan, which uh, personal favorite for you two guys? I'm correct. Mm. Uh, yes. This happened 23rd November. Crow Park, which was that's a big step up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I can I can honestly say I played a final in Crow Park. It's up yeah. to you, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. That's I a big deal. Up. I mean, you guys. Tied... <laughs> too bad they haven't had it in Crow Park for three years running because then I'd be like, I've been in the final three years in a row. Yeah, only I could say I've done the final for two years in a row in Erdogan. Only I could say that. Third well, year, I, I missed out. Actually, I've been in the final in Erdogan for like four years. Big one. Actually, that's a lie. No, no? not in a row. I've been in the final three years hmm. of the four. Oh, well. Okay. So sad. I mean, I mean, I've always come second, though. <laughs> Never won. It's like, out of all the cons being like gaming, uh, fucking gaming fluff, this was bigger than anything we've ever done. Ever. In terms yeah. of like the scope of it, I know like it's unfair to compare cons. You could say all cons are bigger than our events, even the annual Evo one last year. But you type up Dublin, you're gonna see Crow Park somewhere in the images. So that's gigantic. Um, I think I they were... could have... sorry. Go ahead. Go on. How you go first? Can I, go I think they could have set up the sort of gaming area to be a little bit better because I actually missed the article on gaming room from last year's. Yeah. I thought that I had all the radiators on whenever it really shouldn't have been that warm. Um, it was really dark as well. The, the whole building was really dark. If you look at any of the photographs of all of the different costumes and stuff, it looks like it was in perpetual darkness every day. So there's, those are like the only things that they would need to like uh, improve on whenever it goes back. If it has to go back, I, we, they have actually they've organized that they'll be in Crow Park next year already. Oh wow, good. Well, that means yeah. their most successful year. Of course, they're going to go back to Croker. <laughs> like they had three thousand people at it. So yeah. They just need to work on like getting up and down the lifts and yeah. There was a couple of little things that would change. More I stairs. Did, I found the way the games were laid out this year was was more conducive to people coming along and just going, "Oh, uh, game I like tournament. I'll play in that." Yeah. Like, I'll, although partially that was me because I was the guy who said, "Yeah, we're going to replace this screen with our monitor and we're going to face this screen out into the yeah into, like, the main you know lobby." How to set it up. Yeah, <laughs> you know how to draw on the crowds. Yeah, I'm and it works. Video it works. footage of kick dive. That's mm. an awesome remember, idea. Yeah, to show everyone yeah. what they could be playing or watching if yeah. we find it. And, and that's it. Like there was two guys playing tech and there's something like kicked them off and put on dive kick. Yeah, five, that's what I'm talking about. Literally within five minutes, there was a crowd of about twenty people watching this crazy game. See, it's, like, it's not just me. Everyone else thinks the same. Yeah. Well, what was I don't know if if you had a similar experience, Lee, <laughs> but uh, I know Onion did. There was something about dive kick, and this is, goes for every con that was at this year. People were coming up to me who knew nothing about fi fighting games, and they were explaining to me like, "Oh, that's Marn. He's friends with this guy called Justin Wong, who's like <sighs> this really big fighting oh, game player, and you know he rides his coattails." And, oh, that's based on Seth Killian, who helped make the Street Fighter. Do you know what I mean? It was crazy. Do they know that they're real people? <laughs> that's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah, That'd be amazing. yeah, they know they're real people. Like they. It was like they went on the dive kick wiki, if such a thing exists, and and just learned, like they loved the game, so they learned all no, about the game. Yeah. I didn't experience that at all. No, it was pretty was... funny. After this, and they're talking to me, I'm like, really, really, oh, I never knew Seth Kidding was a real person. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh yeah, yeah, even Stream Master, yeah, he lives out in Oregon. Oh, he's brilliant. <laughs> the best they, they were there, Stream Monster. but they were explaining the joke behind Stream Monster, like. Like, oh, I'm pretty sure I know what a stream monster is. Get Ski Sonic off the mic. <laughs> I love that ending. It's the best. That's broken. <laughs> I'm going to patch you into existence. It's some jargon. Uh, that game's so much fun. But that that it's tournament bait. That game is. It's the perfect like, casual tournament game. Oh yeah, absolutely. There was uh, one of the past cons had like 64 entrance for that. Yeah, that was that more was, than all of them combined. Fun. It's not mentioned here, is it? Uh, but oh no, it is. Uh, Les Blue that actually had quite a big crowd that time, or yeah. at least it, it it had a big impact on the follow up tournament. Yeah, I missed to mention that. Uh, yeah, um, Chrono Phantasma did come out this year, and that's been making a comeback again. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see it because I like the lads. 
basically. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's good. I like them too. I, I like seeing them out. So. Any good news for any fighting games? Good news for just the community in general. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to be dying. It's taken down a peg. I'm all about it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving from so Ericom was an awesome event. Big lot of cool things happened. You guys enjoyed it a lot thoroughly. Uh, yeah, had Doctor Who, <laughs> which is on the side. I just don't know. Uh, <laughs> if I start talking about Doctor Who, I won't stop. So. All I'll say is I don't. I like the new one better than the last. Now that's gonna put you a bit angry, and I'm gonna move on. Oh my! Uh, uh, who won? Who won? Who won? <laughs> I got <laughs> sense. Oh, animosity! <laughs> do you, do you, I'll let you guess what the final was. Uh, was it Ladno? It was Ladno. And Bento Santo. No. <laughs> was it you? It happened to be me. Yes. Well, that was my second guess too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did you win? Oh my god! I'm about to cry. No, I didn't. Oh. I it's did okay, beat him at Rog. Okay. I bet him at Balrog for, for a fight, <laughs> and Dark when you nearly fell off his seat laughing. So. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of, he won Marvel. He beat me into losers and then in finals. <laughs> you can't just get a break. <laughs> no, not at all. And then he gets the art book, and I felt really good about not attending because I was like, I don't need two art books. Yes. No, you don't need two art books at all. A victory I for Dublin. Actually, I'm actually looking at my art book from Articon last year right now. Me too. Oh, me too. Where's it? Yeah, oh, good art book. I'm gonna go look at my own. <laughs> yeah, a lot of nice art books you got there. I see a bent sword though. Wait, what? Oh, no, I thought what? your sword got bent, didn't it? You you have like a rebellion replica, right? I've got rebellion and master sword replicas. I thought one was bent or something. Uh, one well, got broken the last year, but I fixed it for this year. Ah, cool stuff. It's okay. It's it's grand. It's it's still hanging in there. Oh man, I saw your uh, Phoenix Wright cosplay for Erdogan. It was pretty bad. Uh, it's pretty good, but the wig was terrible, so I'll get that fixed for next time. Yeah, I don't have much to comment on with that. It reminded <laughs> me of a certain literature writer, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, no, nothing. I'll tell you later. <laughs> tell me right now, you can't <clears throat> say it. And just like, leave it on. I think I can, actually. God. Can Excellent. I just say shout outs to the Maya cosplayer as well? Because she gave me an onion a good laugh. <laughs> a Maya cosplayer? Oh. There was a Maya cosplayer, yeah. It's good too. Well, What's I'm not a big fan. Huh. Go on. What was well, it? Actually, um, I think that that was a different one. There was two of them there. Oh, okay. Well, the one I was talking to was a huge Doctor Who fan, and when she saw my T-shirt, she nearly exploded. Uh, so. <laughs> like literally, exploded bits everywhere. Had to nearly. evacuate the venue. Nearly. Not joking. She was just. Oh, oh my god! I love Doctor Who so much, and today's the fiftieth. <laughs> Holy like, fucking shit, you like Doctor Who too? What are the odds? Uh, <laughs> At a nerd convention. Uh, At the 50th Doctor Who anniversary. Showing, yeah. Seriously, though, I do like the new one. He's way better. Well, it's a new, new one coming, so. Yeah, I like the new, new one. The one that replaced the last one. Oh, Peter Capaldi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love him too, so. Oh, really? Forward. Damn, I thought you hated him. Never mind. Uh, Everyone seems school. to love I... the old one. I don't know why. Well, he was cool. Yeah. Well, he's not as cool as Keith Peter Capaldi. It's Malcolm <laughs> fucking Tucker. Uh, so Tempest. Tempest. Tempest to Inferno donation. I'm just trying to get these away from Doctor Who. Oh, where, uh, it's a real threat. As far like as I know, this hasn't happened yet. No. Tempest, uh, so the next topic uh, for November is Tempest to Inferno donation. So this is when Doom kind of had a bit of foreshadowing to it. Uh, Tempest is now done. It was to be done early February. Probably even earlier than that to be honest is now disbanded they are now giving the equipment from Cork's community up to Dublin and in classic uh, hard and fashion they, we have to go collect it unfortunately so uh, I don't know yeah, yeah. only thing is the only happen. reason I've been in Cork for the last 10 years has been to attend a tournament so um, we have a problem there yeah <laughs> I don't want to go to Cork either uh, <laughs> guys there's all is there a lot of equipment there uh, not really no I mean the there's a nice tripod that we could use I have this Game Boy. Yeah, There's a tripod, like, uh... So, yeah, I don't oh. know. So, we'll get Cyrus to go over when he comes back. See, Japan. the problem is, is that I'll travel all over this country, but I'm from Dublin and they want me to go to Cork. Ugh. Why would you do that? No. How about you come up here? It's nice up here. Yeah, it's in Dublin. Yeah, we have birds and all over here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get down there. Go ahead. Uh, we'll get challenged by Neff and then he'll body me for all my money. I'm a grateful gift horse in the mouth, people. Yeah. 
Uh, free, free, free equipment. And... Oh, anyway, so, there's like six or eight Move people on. in Tempest. So the scene's done. I don't know. Uh, that's a shame. So yeah, that's November done in a hack. Um, they come up to the last month, uh, December, which we had one final event, which was DLC eleven point five half past half past OS Ultra December seventh. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah. It was just a nice tournament, fun. I didn't know. I, don't think I, did I attend it? I probably did. I'm always at these damn tournaments. I missed like maybe two this year, so good track record. There was um, the Blast Blue explosion continued. There was like a map. There's 26 for this tiny little uh, anime game. Like that's not so tiny anymore. Uh, that was good fun, and you will never ever guess what happened in the AE tournament. Didn't play against Ladd in the finals. I did. <laughs> oh, you did. Well, mm. who won, dude? Ladd, no. Oh, <laughs> no wonder you guys keep saying dominance and dominance after Ladd's name. Yeah. It's Jesus. I'm kind of dominant. I'm second dominant. Like, yeah. bait is almost as good as alpha. Like, <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, I think a shadow for this one has to go. Voa had a match out match up with Zinkai and BB. Which was Tiger versus Kokonoe, which is effectively a 10 0 matchup. And, and Voa just made a series of hard reads and, and eked out the victory. And um, it's, the video's been up on Reddit, on the BB Reddit, because it's, it's such an unusual thing. Like, but uh, that was really big. And I think Luke won Injustice against you, yep. Nutrients? That's correct. Yeah. Reset the bracket now. Yeah. I really enjoyed streaming this one. There was a lot of monsters, it was fun. Yeah, uh, it was enjoyable enough. I wish I got to see the stream more often to talk with them. But mm. yeah. it is it is becoming one. Um, like the running of the tournaments has changed so much. Because we're at the end of the year now, I guess I can do a kind of a motivational speech and all that. Uh, <laughs> Get the patriotic music going on. <laughs> yeah. um, at the start of this year, I didn't have the headphone mics. We we were stuck running tournaments in places where we'd have to beg people for equipment at every tournament and we weren't able to stream and yeah. like the events have become much more well-rounded and fun for me at the end of this year and a lot less frustrating and uh, it's really really cool and uh, I'm looking forward to next year and kind of pushing things even further and improving them where we where we can and everything looking forward to working with NomCom maybe ArcadeCon if they want to and you know, maybe if we can get competitive gaming going just a bit better, like Ultra might be a really good opportunity for us. So there's lots of lots of cool things on the horizon. So hopefully they'll pan out. So yeah, um, that's it really. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to messing with the uh, recording equipment since I actually I'm not completely oblivious as to how to use uh, mm. uh, XSplit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anymore. You'd be See, though XSplit's a bit of a rough uh, boulder handle sometimes. Yeah, well, Sometimes. I mean, it has its, its moments. It's not that it was really hard, it's just really intimidating because it's like, I really don't want to fuck up anything. But it's know, just a matter yeah. of, like, you know, it's... pressing the camera buttons and changing the names. Sometimes I turn on XSplit and it has a stroke and decides, you're not a streamer <coughs> at all. <laughs> uh, turn oh. off the laptop completely. Sick. Oh, well. It could um, run smoother. You, it, nutrient. Mm -hmm. Just a small hint for that. Look up XSplit.core. Okay. That's a way of running XSplit that it doesn't run any of that the extra crap when it's starting up. Oh, I'll well, have a look at that definitely. Yeah, because uh, I can't even I... use it for this at the moment. I'm using OBS, which is working wonders. Okay. Mm, cool. Oh, that's lovely. Um, so yeah, that event was fun. <sighs> so final thoughts about the whole year? Uh... I can't believe it all happened. Like that, it feels like that was three years worth of fucking cans. Does not seem you know, less than a year away. Yeah, that point. seems like it was two years ago. Yeah, it really does. Feels like a long time ago. Um, good year, great experience. Was that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> also, anything that we're looking forward to 2014? What's go what's going to be better? What's going to be more amazing? Or is it, Ultra. The end? We're going to have to experience that, but Ultra's looking very promising. Oh, who gives a fuck about Ultra? That's uh, too bad. Anyways. Like, bye, bye. I'm looking forward to Capcom All-Stars, which is never oh going to be announced. Oh my god, please. Please, please, please. Uh. I think, actually, genuinely, not to bring everything down, or anything, next year's going to be tough because we have all this YouTube stuff because it's going to get worse yeah. next year. We have um, a lot of the European sponsors are gone. 
Western Wolves are gone, watch the match are gone. Why is uh, that? Is, are they suffering just too much and they're just... I don't know. I just saw announcements that they were both closing at the end of this year. So Yeah, I think Damn. they're both piecing out. So, yeah, so um, there's know. even Super Arcade in America is struggling. These are money problems, you know, rather than... Yeah, that's the thing. I think it's going to have to turn into for the love of the game, which, you know, doesn't run that sort of stuff. Yeah, your love yeah. can't take, can only take you so far. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I think it's gonna, definitely going to be a year of evolution and change. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> definitely going to be a year of change worldwide, not just in Ireland. But, um, you know, we're all in it for love, so it's not going to make much of a difference for us. We'll still be here. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the name of the game. I want to get more into, like, recording stuff and uploading again because yeah. I'm finding it very difficult to find any time. Mm. It's, it's so I'll, sad. If, if I could do one thing... I've already, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm like, work, I did a bit of work for another YouTube channel called Arcade and Retro.com. Okay. Like, I think one thing that would be really good was if we could all kind of start thinking of working with each other in a kind of, you know, the way, the way that white guy with the glasses does it, where they all pop up in each other's videos. Yeah, and they would have uh, like categories of other people's work all on the one yeah, website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of like, stuff. Uh, like, a nostalgia get check. All the, all your, so kind of like yeah. a. Not symbiotic relationship, but just... Didn't even Team Four Star be on that website for a while? Uh, yeah. I know We're... Team Four Star done like an honest traders video a while ago. Like that that would be that would be something I think would be really great. So like, you know, there's a website, you can check out these videos, you can check out my videos. Mm -hmm. And like then you'd have like a, a gateway drug video where you know you know <laughs> We just say... put on dive kick all day. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Just stream yeah. master. Come on, Spooky. Genius. Absolutely, like you said, dive kick is the gateway. Yeah. Um, so, you know that just ideas in my head that we could. Yeah, I love it, the idea of it just because it's so simple. Because I think the reason why dive kick is such a good gateway is because it's so simplified and it's at the very core of it what fighting games are all about, which is yeah, combat, landing that fun. first hit, you know, yeah, land the first yeah. hit, absolutely. Uh, I think that would be a good idea. It's quite an inoffensive way to get people to gather together because it doesn't really change the whole, you know. The way people have to upload on their own channels, mm. you know, it's it's not algamating all the channels into one channel on YouTube. It's algamating them all together on a website. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's not like it's not like we're introducing. You know, you all, I'm sure you've encountered them on YouTube. People go, yeah, you. Can, I have this like community channel. You can all upload your videos, and it'll be great for you. Yes, it's like it's great for you when you get all the advertising yes. revenue. If you like, do, even not, if it does work out hypothetically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not saying that people we should think of doing that, but I do think we should think about working with each other more and helping more. Like you and I already do it effectively. Like if there's something going on, there's usually enough communication so that nobody misses out on whatever it needs to be done. But it would be great if like we could involve other yeah, smaller channels. That's a closed system. Nobody yeah, else is exactly. getting on that. So I'll contact P Dog tonight. <laughs> Stuff. I'll go to his house right now. <laughs> Give me his number. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Ryu. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, I can't talk about it. That Ryu tutorial is interesting. Um, if there's anything I'm looking forward to, I mean, you know, just referring back to the whole uh, channel thing, I hope MCNs go away, which is what they call it now, the multi-channel organization. I think they should go away, and we, it should just be redone from scratch again. I don't think it's working out well at the moment. And just the way the whole system's made up, everyone's like pointing fingers saying this is going on, that's going on, exploitation here and there. Uh, that needs to come together yeah. and just like like Doom said, the collaboration between everyone is a great idea just to help each other in the efforts of expanding the audience globally for every uh hobby or activity we all partake in. Because on the day they do all come down as hobbies and we all just do it in our spare time really. Absolutely. I think the biggest deciding factor really, let's not kid ourselves, is whether or not the games are gonna come on. Yeah. If, yep. if if there's like I mean there's ultra but that's still another add-on to an existing game it's gonna change up the mechanics mechanics quite a bit but how much more of an effect would it have been if it was like Street Fighter Five coming out for Xbox? Oh yeah, whatever. that's completely different because you, know, you know Street if, Fighter yeah. Five is what we need. I think Ultra's kind of yeah. it's kind of weighing it down a bit. I think I don't like what I like the idea of an update, but I don't like that it's being prohibited to one system just because the arcade stick systems. You know, oh, you have to buy an arcade stick. And that sucks that. too. You, absolutely. And I mean, if for example, if Marvel versus Marvel, or sorry, if Capcom versus Capcom All Stars came out with you know, the likes of Dante Phoenix Wright, whatever I'm interested in, if that came out, I would go 
absolutely 110% as many videos as possible, like, to the max. I'd be so excited about that game. Even if they never done so, the end of them? Well, uh, yeah, you see whatever. a crotchet now. Oh, Jesus, I'm waving about while I'm talking, and now my Xbox One is picking up my gestures. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Xbox. Xbox, Xbox, in a Xbox turn off. <laughs> Xbox, record that. No Xbox, don't show them. <laughs> uh, um, but I don't, just to, to close all this up together, if there's anything I'm looking forward to, it's just um, just the social experience that we always have. No matter what happens online with the streaming and YouTube and whatnot, it'd be nice if we can all still just come together once a month, like we usually do, and come together to play the games that we truly enjoy and have a passion for. Yeah. 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 Hey, no, I agree. That's... At the heart of it, that's what that's what you know. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Meet up with people and play some games and have some fun. So, Good here's stuff. to that, you know. Cheers to that. Happy New Year. Happy YouTube. New Year, indeed. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah. So Maybe we still survive for a couple more. What? What? What are you trying to say? I'm gonna be around here forever playing Killer Instinct. <clears throat> you want to see these combos, man? They're fucking brilliant. They're ridiculous. Oh, dude, Killer Instinct's gonna be leading this community. Wait till you see. It could do. It Absolutely. Could do. Killer Instinct all the way. Doom, get ready to plug in my DVR box. <laughs> I've, I've got the splitter right here, dude. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. I'm going all in. I'll have Ben carry it like a fucking donkey and I'll ride on top of him. We'll just walk so, into the XTC. Hook me up. One good thing uh, about the Xbox One is how it's using the Kinect for a microphone. And while I personally despise that, it's actually really, really good <laughs> for us because... Oh, God. Xbox is atrocious. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> It multiplies <laughs> so many times the likeliness that you're going to get someone screaming over the microphone, really getting angry over your matches. Oh, it's yeah. like that's that's that's, that's gold. <laughs> you know, you know yourself. Yeah, whenever <laughs> if you're going to have a match and someone gets really angry, they're like it's way more likely that you're going to hear that because as, you know, for default, the connect is on it's and it's it's recording your your voice. I, that was the first thing I did. I was like, connect off. There's no no microphone. I don't I don't shut whenever I'm playing, but I don't want to hear someone like yeah. I don't want I don't want someone to hear me going, Oh don't, don't, don't. Yeah, they're working on it. They'll fix it. Um So as we tied up, uh to the A scene, to the Marvel scene, Blas Blue, Soul <laughs> Calibur, Smash uh, And even Tekken. And even Tekken that day. You forgot Injustice. And oh well, yeah, I was getting to it. Injustice. Um it's been great playing and sharing experiences with all of you. Um, at the end of the day, it's good or bad fighting games they are. They are all still fighting games at the end of it. And it's good that we can all share our opinions and have fun with them and, you know, Except have our Smash salty Brothers. matches. Suffer Smash Brothers. It's good that we still have all of our competitive nature to keep the game alive and exciting and hype for everyone to watch. Um, it's not really much to say, really. Uh, just, I don't know. Good games. <laughs> 